हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी सन माता जी सो हाउ इज एवरी वन डूइंग ऑल गुड सो समह वी हैव श्रीराम नॉम इज देर टुमारो आई हैव टुडे आई हैव विजिटेड द विहंगा अपार्टमेंट एज विहंगा कम्युनिटी टू थिंक देर आर लॉट ऑफ प्रिपरेशन आर गोइंग ऑन आई वॉज केम टू अटेंड श्रुति माता जी शे वॉन्टेड सम यूटेंसिल्स सो आई वेंट देर आई सीन It's not coming, huh? Let me increase the volume. Hari Krishna, fine. So, uh, so there are a lot of preparations going on regarding uh, Sri Ram Navami, and uh, tomorrow there are a lot of services as well in our uh, Gachchiburi Satsang. And to be frank. Uh, today as we speak there is already sri ramami session going on uh, by one of my uh, god brother subharao prabhu he is taking in 1310 sri ramami kada and tomorrow morning there is one more kada in multiple locations it's happening one is in uh, shadnagar another is in uh, bhcl one of our god brothers uh, they are conducting sessions and similarly uh, tomorrow evening we are having krishi krishi so i was talking to liram prabhu as well हरे कृष्ण माता जी मैत्री माता जी हरे कृष्ण मुझे कड़पा मुझे हाँ या या वर्मा प्रभु वर्मा प्रभु इफ यू डोंट माइंड कैन यू टेक दैट थिंग एंड थर्टीन टेन कीप इट इन थर्टीन टेन सॉरी माता जी रही मुझे कुछ चलते लकीली वी हैव मैथिली माता जी she was my owner when i was in 1999 to 2002 i was staying there in their house as a bachelor in in our house yeah ma'am this is so we were there in their house amma kuchondu ha ma papa local undi kuchondu okay so we are having wonderful memories of staying as a bachelor in their house okay so anyway coming back to the topic so shri ram mummy parallelly lot of sessions are going on and tomorrow evening krishi is there and probably will i might visit tomorrow evening also there so what is today's topic what is today's topic today's topic practical application of bhagavad gita in our life right but before we jump in there i wanted to thank and without krishna blessing or without krishna's mercy we would not have come to this situation today there are there are total of 12 sessions we have conducted and can we quickly do a recap what are those 12 sessions number 1 what is the first session quick recap i just wanted to test your memory i know kaliyuga memory is very weak <laughs> but still <laughs> let us give it a shot what is the first session in search of happiness first session was in search of happiness where uh, we discussed about for amma pain kuchondi pain kuchondi ma parle please ibbandi ho so the first session what we discussed was uh, uh, in search of happiness and what are the four problems of life what are the four real problems of life janma yes janma mrutyu jara vyadhi that is birth death old age and disease these are the real problems and uh, what is the criteria what is the criteria for a problem to be called as a real problem criteria ha uh, it is common for all you can't avoid third one come on it is common for all you can't avoid what is the third one you don't nobody wants it okay these are the three criteria for a problem to be known as a real problem nobody wants it nobody can avoid it and it is applicable for every living entity not only human being so that is the criteria for a problem to be called as a real problem and these three conditions satisfying the four pro, the four problems what we have come to is janma mrutyu jara vyadhi janma birth mrutyu death 
there are old age and vyadi disease no one can avoid it okay these are the four things what we are coming to a conclusion in the first session what about the second session hari krishna prabhu subramanian prabhu namaste <laughs> what is the second session second session does god exist asala devudu unnada we have proof we have logically proven that god was god is there that's what we have proven so that was the second session where we have seen that a supreme controller supreme a creator and he is the causes of all causes and he is a supreme enjoyer then he is called god no one if no one satisfies these three criteria no one can be called as god and so many people we see around in the society they tag or uh, tag their names with bhagavan paramahamsa without knowing the meaning of those two words so that's what we have proved in the second session that does god exist and we have proven that in fact god does exist then what is the third session third session third session thoda 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 koshish karo what is the third session do we need to believe in scriptures okay do we need to believe in scriptures shastralani mana nammala vadda shastralani mana nammala vadda that was the third session where we have logically proven that we need to believe in scriptures and whatever is mentioned in scriptures it is valid which is coming from the parampara the disciplinic succession the knowledge has been shared and we have logically proven that uh, we need to believe in scriptures okay shanti uh, be careful a kunda dagara vanna nuncho pedthe better pillalu unnaru so better someone stand there so do we need to believe in scriptures where we have logically proven that we we need to believe in scriptures and scriptures are the authentic uh, uh, authentic books wherein we need to believe in okay this is what we have concluded in the third session what is the fourth session fourth session any guesses nalva session avd any guesses fourth session any guesses modes of material nature tri gunalu sattva gunam rajo gunam and tamo gunam what are these three gunas and what are the parameters or characteristics of these three gunas how a person being in this uh, guna how he behaves with respect to eating with respect to dressing with respect to charity with respect to devotion what kind of devotion he does who he worships all these three categories of people they worship different different demigods different uh, uh, you know demons or gods so we need to understand there are different per- from 14 to 15 parameters which krishna has given in bhagavad gita in worship how a satoguna person worships and how a rajoguna person worships and how a tamoguna worships eating habits how is sat- what satoguna people eat what rajoguna people eat what tamoguna eat people eat how they dress like that he has given some for 14 to 15 parameters how all these three categories of people they behave in each category that's what is being mentioned in the fourth uh, session what is the fifth session fifth session any guesses what is the fifth session fifth session is do do we need to who is guru and uh, do we need to believe in guru or not is really guru important that was the session what we have covered in the fifth session who is guru and uh, the importance of guru we should not compare the spiritual master with the uh, with the teachers whom whom we see in our uh, colleges or schools so that's what we have come to there are a lot of difference and guru importance you know who will be taking the responsibility spiritual master take the responsibility of a disciple to ensure that he is not taking birth again that much responsibility who can take it yavaru anta baadhyata teeskuntaru నా శిష్యుల్ని మళ్ళీ ఈ భవసాగరంలో నుంచి రాకుండా ఉండడానికి హీ విల్ టేక్ ఎ కమిట్మెంట్ హీ విల్ టేక్ ఎ ప్రామిస్ హూర్ బి టేకింగ్ దట్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ గురు సో గురు ఈస్ దట్ పర్సన్ హూ టేక్స్ దట్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ సో వీ హ్యావ్ సీక్వెన్షియలీ సీన్ వీ నీడ్ టు యాక్సెప్ట్ ద గురు ఓన్లీ హూ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద డిసిప్లినిక్ సక్సెషన్ గురు శిష్య పరంపరలో ఉన్న వాళ్ళ నుంచే మనం ఇచ్చేసుకోవాలి మెన్ వీ నీడ్ టు లుక్ ఫర్ అ గురు అండ్ హూ ఆర్ దోస్ ఫోర్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఫోర్ డిసిప్లినిక్ సక్సెషన్స్ సాంప్రదాయ నాలుగు సాంప్రదాయాలు ఏమిటి వాట్ ఆర్ దోస్ ఫోర్ సాంప్రదాయస్ ఎనివన్ శ్రీ సాంప్రదాయం బ్రహ్మ సాంప్రదాయం రుద్ర సాంప్రదాయం 
కుమార సాంప్రదాయం దేర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ సాంప్రదాయస్ అండ్ ఇస్కోన్ కమ్స్ అంటే బ్రహ్మ సాంప్రదాయం బ్రహ్మ మధ్య గౌడి సాంప్రదాయం సో లైక్ దట్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ అదర్ సాం శ్రీ సాంప్రదాయ చిన్న జీర స్వాములు వారు ఉన్నారు హీ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీ సాంప్రదాయ సో లైక్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు యాక్సెప్ట్ స్పిరిచువల్ మాస్టర్స్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ సాంప్రదాయస్ ఓకే దట్స్ వాట్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గురు వాట్ వీ ఆర్ సీన్ ఇన్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ సెషన్ దట్ ఈస్ హూ ఈస్ గురు అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద సిక్స్త్ సెషన్ సిక్స్త్ సెషన్ సిక్స్త్ సెషన్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ హూ యామ్ ఐ అసలు మనం ఎవరిని వాట్ ఈస్ అవర్ రియల్ ఐడెంటిటీ వీ సీ వెన్ వీ ఆర్ మెటీరియల్లీ అటాచ్డ్ వీ సీ దట్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ ఫాదర్ ఆఫ్ మై సన్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ సన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫాదర్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ ఎంప్లాయీ ఇన్ ఏ ఆఫీస్ ఆర్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ ఐఎమ్ ఏ క్లైంట్ టు మై వెండార్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ యాక్టింగ్ యాజ్ ఏ వెండార్ టు మై క్లైంట్ so there are different positions but actual original position when we are all these examples what we have taken is our bodily identification only this bodily in this body you are you might be a son of your kid your your father and you will be might be a father for your son and you will be uncle for your brothers uh, kids like that you know these are different entities are there these different relations are there only from a bodily perspective but when we identify ourselves with our soul that we have logically proven that we are not the body and we are soul manam jeevaatmulamu manam ee shariram kaadu ani manam logically prove cheyadam jarigindi bhagavad gita bhagavad gita 6th session so we need to understand that's what we have understood who am i we, our real identity is we are from vaikuntha loka sa goloka wherein we have lot of envy and jealous and we wanted to enjoy independent of god so that's the reason why god has provided this big boss set up like brahmanda to enjoy for a temporary moment so we have come down and we have forgot the real relationship with the god so that's why if you see lot of problems in society that that are mainly occurring only due to we forgetting about god who what is our real identity we are the permanent or eternal survivors of god that's what we have forgotten so that's what we have seen in the sixth session and what is the seventh session seventh session any guesses death that's right in the seventh session we have seen secrets of death what exactly is death is death the end of us how many of you still believe here in this assembly how many of you still believe that death is our end please someone lift hand no <laughs> huh? so you believe that uh, death is the end of us no yeah. i am asking to lift the hands who believe that it is end anyway good that i got a good assembly of devotees who are accepting that death is not the end after death there is again life waiting for us but we need to understand that we our goal is to break that chain we should not take birth again that should be our goal this is so we should, our goal of life should be to break the cycle of birth death disease and uh, old age so we need to break that cycle that should be our goal okay so that's what we have proven that and secrets of death we have seen when uh, what exactly are the symptoms and what what hap- happens at this moment i mean uh, we, what triggers the uh, the death lot of people say papa uh, he got cancer so that's the reason why he he died cancer is just a reason after getting cancer probably he he dies after 3 months but he was expected to die after 3 months that's the reason why cancer has come that's the reason why a person got heart attack that's the reason why a accident has happened that is the scriptural understanding it's not that one person got a disease and he died actually his uh, time is there in only till that moment means it is said in uh, shastra that a person is born these many breaths are there to be taken uh, by a living entity in this life once that breaths are over he is expected to leave that is the real and scriptural understanding we should not say that uh, this occurred that is the reason why he died so that is the scriptural understanding that we have proven in the seventh session what about eighth session what is eighth session eighth session i think i am giving lot of pressure to brain today <laughs> uh, what is the eighth session eighth session is loss of karma we have seen what are the loss of karma and uh, we have seen that also that uh, you know loss of karma are not partial these are impartial do you believe loss of karma won't act on people or devotees 
Loss of karma don't act on devotees. Yes, they they act on devotees as well. Since I am giving a small message today or taking session, it doesn't mean that I am passing the message of Krishna or trying to uh, bring awareness about Krishna's message. It doesn't mean that Krishna is partial towards me and I will be having longer life and I will be staying here permanently. No. <laughs> that we need to understand. So, loss of karma, how many types of karmas are there? Broadly? Hmm? Three. What are those three? Karma? Vikarma? Akarma. Right. Which is the best one among the three? Akarma. Akarma is the best one. What is wrong with karma? Karma is a good karma, no? What is wrong with karma? Huh? Ah, positive. Karma means positive. So that's also good. No, you'll be going to heavenly planets. <laughs> I mean, is it not a bad idea? Is it not a bad idea? <laughs> Again, you will be coming back. Of course, when we are going, when you are having a positive karma, you will be going to the heavenly Sarga. Ever and I actually have seen a lot of elders. When uh, small kids take the blessings of the elders, they try to bless them that Sarga Prapti Rastu. But is it a good blessing? Sarga Prapti Rastu, is, a, is it a good blessing? Is it? No, it is not a good blessing. Because even if you go to Sarga, there is every possibility that you will not remember God and you will be having a lot of facilities to enjoy. Probably if you are if you are living in your body in Kaliuga for say 80 to 90 years, in Sarga Lokas you might be living for 400, 500 or 1000 years. But after 1000 years again, fall down will happen. The capacity will be more. For example, in Kaliuga body, you, you love idli and, uh, idli and uh, chutney. At the max, if you like it, how many idlis you will eat? 10? Or at the max 15? Right? <laughs> no, but in uh, Sargam, you can, you can eat 90 and 100 also. So that is the capacity, that is the uh, privilege given for the Sarga bodies. So, but it is not the ultimate or the uh, required uh, thing what we should aspire for. We should aspire for. We should aspire for leaving because even the Sarga Loka also falls under Brahmanda. There are total how many planets in a Brahmanda? 14 planets. And if you see carefully that that chart, what I have seen hang, hung there, that is the complete spiritual world and uh, material world map. If you see that, I was uh, frequently referring, referring in the, se the sessions, right? What is the, we, we might have seen in our, uh, what is her name? What's her name? Uh, Prakshi. 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 You know Atlas, right? Atlas map. Have you seen the Atlas map? And you have seen the whole globe, right? globe you might have seen. So that particular map only is restricted to this earth. Earth, that is the globe. Thank you. Okay, that is the, the earth uh, atlas. But this is the atlas of spiritual and material world. That, that uh, in our schools they will not teach. But they are trying to explore, you know, the scientists, ISRO, they have recently found, right, even the whatever is not there in the atlas globe, they are able to see that there are new planets there. Recently they are trying to find out something. But that is the, already in scriptures it is given, the, that is the overall map, that is the ultimate atlas map of spiritual world and uh, material world. And uh, as I said, once the total population, only one fourth belongs to one uh, material world. Remaining three fourths is the spiritual world. Remaining three fourths is the spiritual world. It is something like we say, right, in our entire globe, uh, almost 70 percent is water, 60 or 65 percent is water, rest of it is land. So similarly, spiritual world, three-fourths of the population is staying in the spiritual world only. We are the unfortunate one-fourths <laughs> who are trying to <laughs> fight in the material world. Brahmanda. Like this, lot of Brahmanda are there. So that's what we have come to a conclusion in the uh, loss of karma. That is the uh, eighth uh, lesson and eighth uh, session. And what about the uh, uh, ninth session? What was the ninth session? Ninth session was, why do bad things happen to good people? Vice versa. Why good things happen to bad people? We might not say openly, but we think, right? Why good things happen to these bad people? She did like this. Uh, he eats, uh, he drinks a lot, he smokes a lot. Every every month he purchases a new car. Why God? Why Krishna? Why it is happening like that to him? We might think, right? So we have seek uh, logically proven in the ninth session that uh, why do bad things happen to good people and why do good things happen to bad people? And in the 10th session, what, what was the 10th session? 10th session. What was the 10th session? 10th session was, who is God? 
who is god we have sequentially in fact a uh, uh, lot of devotees here they have asked uh, very it was very inquisitive session where a lot of devotees have asked a lot of questions so due to that it, it was it was ideally a two session uh, only two sitting session but it has happened for four sittings who is god so that was a pretty long session and now we are here practical application of bhagavad gita in our life do you still feel that we it is really practically applicable do you feel shastras are really applicable in current society modern society i think most of us might have come across uh, comments where uh, we see parikshakos we see that uh, the scriptures are very old you know shastra nadi vi chala paatavi shastra nadi vi chala paatavi and uh, current aadhunika samajamlo avi vartinchavu that knowledge is not applicable for, for the modern society that's what most of them say is it true how many of you accept is it true that scriptural knowledge is not applicable in the current modern society how many of you agree or how many of you don't agree prabhu ji should not be one side batting i will ensure that batting and bowling both are happening <laughs> silent unte work out avadu Huh? so what do you see what do you feel scriptural knowledge is t- today this scriptural knowledge is it applicable for uh, today's modern society yes. Huh? Yes. someone say no no <laughs> today we, uh, we had a session actually today morning uh, on the occasion of sri ram navami uh, today morning i have taken another session on the qualities of ramayana uh, i mean what are the 10 major lessons learned from the ramayana which are still applicable in current society so we were trying to discuss uh, this in the early morning session so you know that those knowledge and all it is still applicable in the current society so since everyone is agreeing so there is no need of any discussion here so we need to understand now we need to see when we have come to this stage i am really i am really thankful to in the society like uh, vihanda where you know sunil prabhu and sanjay prabhu they have been like uh, my right hand and left hand in executing the sessions in vihanda so i am really thankful to sunil prabhu and sanjay prabhu and all the families who have really accepted us accepted us in uh, in, glo- in glorifying the names of the lord and uh, ensuring that the message of bhagavad gita is trying to be passed on to the community and we should see more such families come into spirituality and i am really thankful to everyone and i can't forget uh, this uh, support from everyone prabhu ji I mean, there are a lot of things like sachcha prabhu have given uh, some inputs which we have implemented the idea of uh, having one round of chanting before the session the idea was given by sachcha prabhu okay that was the idea given by sachcha prabhu where we have implemented it so like that lot of inputs have come and in fact prabhu ji has given one more idea of keeping a donation box but i could not implement prabhu i am really sorry for that <laughs> but you know uh, it's a good idea to keep in fact when, whenever the spiritual discourses are happening we should keep a donation box also it is try to understand that it is not a negative intention here because you know when we are giving a donation box this is only meant to be used for the service of the lord in future okay and uh, there, there is the possibility since it's a new batch people uh, might they, they, there might be a thinking percolating within us where in their okay the donation box is kept so we have to give money yeah? so the, the thinking might go in a different direction so that is the reason why uh, in the initial stages i didn't want to probably going forward i will try to put a donation box also because it is for the the what are the money we are getting we are trying to use for the service of propagating the knowledge of bhagavad gita and krishna okay so i could not implement that prabhu i'm really sorry for that Okay. so that's about the vihanga community and uh, in aliens in aliens community parallelly we have done sessions and lakshmi mata ji can you come for one minute here and i wanted everyone to see lakshmi mata ji please 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 one time please she is lakshmi mata ji who has been posting questions every day uh, every day in our group and uh, she has been patient enough and trying to <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so she is the one Yeah. yeah and i'm really glad that krishna has given me wonderful god sister and wonderful god brother like varma prabhu 
when she has been posting questions and varma prabhu before i go there and trying to give sessions he has been keeping all the things handy and ready all the uh, things ready and just i have to i i, I there, is, there was no need for me to have separate effort for getting prepared varma prabhu used to ensure that all the things are in place seating and all he used to ensure and uh, we used to have a smooth sessions so i am really thankful to krishna that uh, krishna has provided uh, varma prabhu and <laughs> rashmi mata ji to me for have executing smoothly the message of uh, lord krishna okay so now going uh, to our session here practical application of bhagavad gita in our life so topics for today's discussion are you know uh, importance of bhagavad gita choosing a perfect guru becoming a perfect disciple purpose of temples guru's guidance to balance and progress in spiritual life sadhana and disciple discipline services and activities in krishna consciousness okay that's so that's what we have discussed you know prabhuji and mataji especially staying in spiritual journey or a spiritual life it is very difficult to be alone if you wanted to progress in spirituality progressing trying to progress alone is very difficult have you heard of this in california i think in california or san jose there are some thick t- i think already i have taken this example i believe there are thick long trees those trees are almost 13 to 4, 14 foot building trees would be there and there are very thick trees and there are around 200 to 300 trees are there and they have their age is almost 5000 to 6000 years can you believe it they were able to sustain they were they were able to sustain for 5000 to 6000 years despite being very thin they are not like you know our neem tree where it, it has a uh, big trunk pedda mamma pedda chettlu laagu levu chakka mana bombu trees untai kada sannaga ala sannanti ee chettlu unde vada avi so it, they have been sustained for 5000 to 6000 years how many suran how many uh, weatherly issues it might have been there in the last 5000 to 6000 years how could they sustain i think already told the reason do you know the reason there are some dumb bunch of 200 to 300 trees they could sustain the time they could sustain the time and uh, were able to sustain for almost 5000 to 6000 years how come they could sustain any idea how could they sustain for 5000 to 6000 years any guesses any guesses yes uh their roots you know under the underground their roots were intertwined avanni lopala unna moolalanni kalisi unnayata kalisi unna so even whatever the difficulty was coming externally the roots were able to hold each other together so that's how they could sustain the time for 5000 to 6000 years so similarly prabhu why we have taken this example is to sustain in spiritual life the association of devotion de- devotees is very important association of devotees is very important and try to associate with devotees if you are really serious about spiritual life i am i am not a devotee i am trying to be one but uh, but uh, when when great sadhus or brahmachari brahmacharis are coming to us which we, we, where, where it is a very rare occurrence we should somehow we need to take the association of them we should prefer that association last time radhesham prabhu ji has come where he was come to Vai, vaishnava seva kunj where uh, unfortunately uh, our uh, himanshu prabhu has not come when uh, so varma prabhu has come a couple of devotees from our batches have come but when such sadhus or brahmacharis are coming we should take the association sanyasis are coming we should take the association even uh, anil prabhu has come last time when uh, uh, yugal kishore prabhu has come so when when uh, sadhus are coming we should we should take the association prabhu ji sanmade and don't under underestimate the association because sadhus when, the, when such pure souls are coming right when pure souls are coming when pure souls see us when pure souls see us they pray they pray pray for us and their prayers are having more value prabhu because we are we might be impure some some people you know you might be thinking right uh, even re- recently you know uh, even in schools we might have it's not only me the elders who are there here uh, everyone might be knowing if some brahmana kid is there our friend brahmana kid is there are are a brahmana to betko magra babu vadi vadi yon antegina jarugutadi ani they will be very careful even when i was a kid also unfortunately and unfortunately always my friends used to be brahmanas only 
somehow they if someone uh, ha- try to harm i used to fight for them so we might have even these days also i don't know in the yeah, current generation how it is how they are treating brahmana kids but uh, in our generation when we were there in schools we used to be not only we but other people were what the petko magara babu vaadu evana nu note thevan ante jarugutadi ane feeling undi why that thing was there because earlier earlier brahmanas were very pure whatever they used to utter or whatever they uh, they pray they that should happen that that was happening in the earlier cases so that purity was there in brahmanas in the earlier uh, ages or earlier uh, almost 1000 or 2000 years back that power was there for them so when so i am that's the reason why i say when when sadhus or sanyasis are coming we should take the association of them because without any negative intention they pray for us prabhu even whatever whatever things we are doing whatever bullshit things we are doing you know they they genuinely pray krishna help this soul i think he is trying to struggle and trying to uh, come towards you help him when that pu- when, when when with that purity they pray no that really helps us prabhu that that is not seen with our materialistic eyes believe me believe me prabhu when uh, uh, i have personally experienced bro i have i have personally experienced when my uh, when I'm the spiritual master from whom i am aspiring for, from for initiation his hina his holiness radhesham radhana swami maharaj i have person when i was in st- staying in stockholm uh, i went i visited personally to prabhupad desh in italy in italy vienna i think vienna uh, so vienna right capital is vienna only no italy We, as we know, in Italy capital, bro? No, 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 Vienna is in Austria only, right? Then I visited Austria, because I was, uh, devotees have booked the ticket, we went to that place and there is a wonderful uh, Prabhupada Desh, there is a wonderful Prabhupada Desh, there is a separate uh, farmhouse community where uh, His Holiness uh, Radhana Swami Maharaj has come, from whom I am aspiring for initiation. And you know, when we are around them, no, there is a different energy, bro. that there is a different energy spiritual energy which uh, uh, you will be able to feel it even i, I was not into that uh, uh, devotion at that time but some of the okay, devotees are saying let me just go and see you know that that's the power of sadhus prabhu whenever sadhus are coming whenever we are posting messages no radhesham prabhu ji is coming or some sadhu or sanyasi is coming we should try to take the association of them without association prabhu progressing in spiritual life is almost impossible believe me ritualist ritually we might do lot of things every saturday i go to temple every uh, every uh, vratam i'll do sachinaram vratam in house ritually we can do lot of things but spiritually there is a difference being ritual and being spiritual ritual doing rituals with spirit is spiritual that we need to understand okay so association is very very important that's what we need to understand and we are coming from a background you know especially with the modern education we are not grown up in a gurukul institutions where the spirituality is introduced in the very beginning itself we are not from gurukul right but have you ever tried to understand what how they teach in gurukul they start with spirituality later after starting the spiritual with spirituality later depending on the guna of a student they will choose the respective paths for example okay mathematics is interested then he will be choosing mathematics and if someone is interested in some musical instrument he is chosen that way but primarily the foundation is given of a spiritual knowledge even we can for example you might have seen recently i visited uh, that uh, statue of equality lot of small kids were there gurukula system where chinnajir swami was uh, trying to Uh, give education to them you know you try to understand you you yourself can uh, uh, try to google or personally visit and know what exactly is being taught and why can't we I mean, do that so basically the point what i'm trying to say prabhu we have come from a background where the gurukula education system was not introduced to us so basically we are not from a spiritual background so we as a person we need to prioritize at least good that at this juncture we are trying to understand spirituality or we are trying to see what spirituality is or is he, okay is he, the, this guy is every saturday and every sunday he is coming what he, let me try at least we are, we are trying to make an attempt to know what exactly is spirituality so that's a very good sign and especially evening saturday people coming and spending for spirituality is a is a shock in kaliyuga <laughs> do you believe it <laughs> uh, 
అది అదే ప్రభు అంటే అంటే మన ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటి ప్రభు ద ప్రాబ్లం ఇస్ యూనో మన బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ అండి మన తల్లిదండ్రులు ఉన్నారనుకోండి సో ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ బ్రాహ్మణాస్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ ఇంట్రొడ్యూసింగ్ ఇట్ బట్ ద ప్రాబ్లం ఈస్ ఈవెన్ ద పేరెంట్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ ట్రైంగ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ రైట్ ఆల్సో సి మీరు ఇలా అన్నారు కదా నేను ఇప్పుడు ఇంకొక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చెప్తా పక్క మా మా శిక్షా గురువు ఉన్నారు లీలాంధ్ర ప్రభు లీలాంధ్ర ప్రభు మా శిక్షా గురువు హీ ఈస్ ఎ రెడ్డి అండ్ రెడ్ ఈ ఆల్వేస్ యూస్ యూస్ దిస్ వర్డ్ వెరీ జోకిలి సేయింగ్ దట్ మేము మా మేము మామూలు రెడ్డి కాదు మేము ఇది తెలంగాణ రెడ్డీస్ మీన్స్ దే ఆర్ మోర్ నాటు తెలంగాణ రెడ్డీస్ సో హీస్ ఫ్రమ్ సచ్ ఏ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ యూనో హీ సచ్ ఏ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ బట్ హీ హ్యాస్ గ్రూమ్ హీస్ కిడ్స్ విత్ ప్రాపర్లీ ప్రాపర్ బ్రాహ్మణికల్ ఎవ్రీ ఎవ్రీ డే దే దే డూ యూనో ఆర్తి అండ్ ఆల్ అండ్ దే కిడ్స్ డూ వాట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఇస్ దిస్ ఏ పూజ ఎవ్రీ ఎవ్రీ డే వాట్ ఎవర్ ద బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ డూ బికాస్ లక్కీలీ ఫర్ లా అవర్ లీలాం ప్రభు లీలాం ప్రభు హీస్ ఎ రెడ్డి అండ్ హీస్ గుడ్ వైఫ్ మాతాజీ అనురాధ మాతాజీ షీజ్ ఎ బ్రాహ్మిన్ so being ready also he is able to do it but the point you know prabhu these days parents are not giving importance to spirituality but they are more giving importance to the material education how come my kids should be toppers uh, how come they should be settled in life very good and all now again don't take my statement wrong it doesn't mean that we should not be intelligent or we should not be topper because we should have that inclination but uh, spirituality should be there as a first priority first we should be spiritual then later later krishna himself help help helps for the spirituality should be the priority right so it's up to parents or themselves are not interested actually a lot lot of people say entra endi bhakti margam enti enti katha avasaram aniku ani a lot of people say like that but we need to understand what exactly the, there are a lot of we are not even trying to see prabhu that let, like this examples are still there or not in the in today's time and uh, today's time there are a lot of examples live examples i'm not talking about the background what you what you just spoke like brahman brahman background unna vallaithe chinna pudu nunchi untundi antaru kada brahman background leni vallu kuda unnaru kada i can show you i can show you yeah bro raja pujyate pradesh yes pandita nam pujyate tapasya yes abhinaya kevandu hai chapandu mari pandita nam nechuka unna krishna ma yes కానీ ప్రభు అందులో ఎక్కడో కల్తీ అనకూడదు కానీ బ్రాహ్మణ్స్ ఆల్సో ఐ నో అఫెన్స్ ఇంటెంటెడ్ టువర్డ్స్ బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ బట్ వాళ్ళు స్వలాభాల కోసం కూడా స్వలాభాల కోసం కూడా దే హ్యావ్ ట్వీక్డ్ అండ్ దే వాంట్ టు మోనోపలైజ్ దిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ టు దెమ్ సెల్స్ అక్కడ ఎక్కడో మిస్టేక్ జరిగిన మాట వాస్తవం ఇట్స్ నాట్ అగైన్ వీ షుడ్ నాట్ బ్లేమ్ కంప్లీట్లీ బట్ వాళ్ళు ఆ సిచ్యువేషన్ రావడానికి కారణం కూడా మనమే ప్రకంగా చెప్పాలంటే ఎందుకు ఎందుకంటే కారణం యాక్చువల్లీ ఎర్లియర్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద ఎర్లియర్ డేస్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద ఎర్లియర్ యుగాస్ బ్రాహ్మణాస్ వర్ వెల్లీ టేకన్ కేర్ బై కింగ్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ నెవర్ నెవర్ ఎ ఫైనాన్షియల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ టు బ్రాహ్మిన్ వెన్ ద కింగ్స్ వర్ దేర్ దెర్ ఆర్ నెవర్ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ టు బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ అట్ ఆల్ ద యూస్ టు టేక్ గుడ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ దెర్ ఆర్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ అట్ ఆల్ ఫర్ బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ దట్స్ దట్ వే దే యూస్ టు కింగ్స్ యూస్ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ టేక్ గుడ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ బ్రాహ్మిన్స్ బట్ రైట్ నో వి 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 ఆర్ జస్ట్ ఇట్ బికేమ్ ఎ ఆబ్లికేషన్ ఓకే పూజ చేసా ఓకే యాజ్ ఇఫ్ వి ఆర్ నాట్ గివింగ్ దే ఆర్ దే విల్ నాట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు సర్వైవ్ వి ఆర్ గివింగ్ లైక్ in sorry to say but we are giving treating them like beggars that's very sorry state of the current situation okay how many how many brahmans you know today they do vrata or yagna without even having a drop of water lucky i i could get got hold of a couple of pujaris in, from iskon who who have you know who don't even touch a water drop of water till the yagna or a puja is over అంత అంత ప్యూరిటీ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు ఎవరు ఉన్నారు ఇప్పుడు లేరు బట్ సి దిస్ ఇస్ అ వైసీ వర్సా ప్రభు అంటే బ్రాహ్మణ్స్ మీద పక్కన తప్పు పడ్డాను లేదు ఆ బ్రాహ్మణ్స్ ఆ స్టేట్కి రావడానికి మనం కూడా ఇండైరెక్ట్ వీఆర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రీజన్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యూఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు టేక్ గుడ్ క
of the brahmanas because you know whatever uh, uh, savings or salary we are getting as a grihastha some percentage is supposed to be going to uh, society or for the propagating the knowledge of god but how, how, how many of us are really doing that leave about as per manu samrita samhita it is i think 25% are we even giving 5% to society no we, we we might be having our own reasons but that's all i can we should not blame one one particular sect that this is the reason due to them only it got bad we are all are part of it probably. that's what i mean we need to understand that. so i mean getting this knowledge at this stage of life is which is very difficult and you know now coming from our background now since we are not coming from a gurukula background we, we have lot of opinions lot of opinions we we uh, we take all the crap into our brain and when we in the, among this crap when a good knowledge comes no we doubt because whatever the crap goes first automatically that has a lot of importance <laughs> when a good knowledge a good knowledge from bhagavad gita or scriptures come we always equate or try to we we have a tendency to see it very low so but still you know with uh, despite having a different backgrounds and it is very difficult to understand and getting convinced in the scriptural aspects there are you know lot loves people with uh, innocence and devotion there are even uh, with from our from our material standards from our material standards there might be some as i, I think I, i have mentioned that in previous sessions also there are some security people who are getting a salary of 7 to 8000 rupees they are doing in their community uh, every week uh, uh, radhayatra they are very simple they, they are clear okay i have to go back home back to godhead and the only process is harinam and i am clear with it they don't have any doubts a scripture that is told is it really told by them there they say shiva is big but you are saying krishna is big how come and in the, even in this book is mentioned where uh, who uh, who has written this there might have there might have been a possibility some corruption might have happened no? Not, with this btech mba burras it is very difficult <laughs> very difficult to contemplate because even at the start itself you are getting a scriptural knowledge you would have you, you would have got an intelligence to reject other crap but right now we are in a situation that already crap has got bottom into us and now now at this stage we are getting spiritual knowledge and with our we apply lot of logic to understand nothing wrong in asking questions or getting convincing uh, asking convincing some questions but after you get convinced we should act accordingly when we when we are knowing that something is truth why can't we why are we not able to follow that's a point somewhere we have to do introspection too. we have to really introspect ourselves that's what the point is okay yes bro please please yes please no no problem ku kurchandi bro kurchandi ha
Yes, sir. Yes, ప్రభు అది ఇంకా అది కానీ ప్రభు నాలెడ్జ్ రావాలి ప్రభు బట్ ద పాయింట్ యు నో ప్రభు జీస్ అండ్ మాతా జీస్ ఇట్ మైట్ బి సౌండింగ్ హార్ష్ ఫర్ సోని బట్ ఫస్ట్ దర్ ఇస్ యూనో తెలుగులో ఒక సామెత ఉంది ముందు ముందు మీ గోచి చెక్కుకో తర్వాత వేరే వాళ్ళ గోచి చెక్కుదు కానీ దట్ మీన్స్ లిటరలీ ఫస్ట్ యూ ఫిట్ యువర్ ధోతి ప్రాపర్లీ దెన్ యూ సంథింగ్ సంథింగ్ సిమిలర్ టు ఇన్ ఏరోప్లేన్ విల్ మీ గో దర్ ఇస్ ఎ మెసేజ్ ఫస్ట్ యూ హ్యావ్ యువర్ ఆక్సిజన్ దట్ దట్ గ్రిల్ అప్లైడ్ ఫర్ యువర్ సెల్ ఫస్ట్ దెన్ యూ ట్రై టు హెల్ప్ అదర్స్ ఓకే ఫస్ట్ యూ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ ఆన్ హెల్పింగ్ యువర్ సెల్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ హెల్ప్ అదర్స్ so we should be in that situation i mean it might be when probably uh, sounding harsh yes we need to do our bit but first to try to inculcate our culture or try to be best from our end later we can try to help others in whatever way we could so pehle apan ke naya to par kar le dusro ke naya baad mein baat kar par karenge but it is probably we need to understand despite a family being there family of four members father mother son daughter it might be there but try to understand that each and every person's journey is different there is a famous dialogue in telugu cinema yavadi cinema ku vaade hero yavadi cinema ku vaade hero kaani teliyadi visham endante yavadi cinema ku vaade villain kuda how many of them realize that yavadi cinema ku vaade hero kaani how many realize that if uh, as per scriptures if they are acting depending on the situation they that situation would not be coming but they are not understanding that everybody cinema ko vaade villain kuda in some sense it doesn't mean that in all the cases but most of the cases due to our anger lust or whatever the anardas we have we are we are only responsible for whatever the situation we are in lot of people don't understand that if we are if krishna has put you in that situation means you have caused you have been the reason for some, keeping someone in the similar situation in the past life how many whole heartedly perennially perpetually penetrate this fact into the dna of our of our lives if krishna has put you in that situation how many people think that immediately we react and we are, we are adding negative karma again so let us uh, uh, try to be focused prabhu try to be focused in and around lot of things should be there i, I don't want to since prabhu has raised is not only the extremists extremists are there in one particular religion even what we think of our religion in our religion also extremists are there extremists are there so we need to understand that and uh, so foundation should be uh, very strong so basically the point when we are taking the examples of that trees uh, our foundation should be there and uh, uh you know uh chinna pariti prabhu uh you have taken the flat in vihanga right meer vihanga lo flat isukunnaru kada re rent rent na ah okay fine then it's not a good example <laughs> sacharam prabhu at least you have taken right yes. okay why you have taken the flat in uh, vihanga because my son is there ah because your son is there now if you ask your son why you have taken flat in vihanga what 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 answer he could have given తను మీ కొడుకుతో మీ 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 పుత్రులతో మీరు అడిగితే కదా ఏమని ఎందుకు రా నువ్వు ఫ్లాట్ ఇక్కడ ఎందుకు విహంగాలో తీసుకున్నావు అని అడిగితే కదా వాట్ విట్ వాట్ విల్ ఈస్ వాట్ విల్ ఈస్ నియర్ టు ఆఫీస్ ఈజ్ వన్ రీజన్ ఎస్ దట్స్ ఎ వ్యాలిడ్ రీజన్ సమ్ పీపుల్ మైట్ సే ఇట్ ఈస్ నియర్ టు స్కూ కిడ్స్ స్కూల్ ఎనీ అదర్ రీజన్స్ ఎనీ అదర్ రీజన్స్ వై వాట్ పీపుల్ వుడ్ బి సేయింగ్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ ఆస్ వై యూ హ్యావ్ టేకన్ ఎ ఫ్లాట్ ఇన్ విహంగా what are the responses we can expect ha huh? good neighbors okay good neighbors I, i think i got so many responses now can someone say that vihanga flats are having good foundation that is the reason why i have taken <laughs> will anyone say like that re ha huh? construction quality most of them actually that uh, that uh, thinking won't go that way most of the times but uh, the foundation is how much important construction, 
construction found if the foundation of a flat, uh, of a apartment is not proper it is very difficult to sustain right if you are if you are building i don't know how many of you have visited uh, at least vihanga and green race i believe uh, vihanga is only 8 or 9 floors right 16 floors 16 floors is the uh, capacity even the same is our green race also but if i i don't know if someone has visited lanco lanco is 30 floors and have you seen the foundation each and every when foundation for each flat the foundation itself is actually occupying maximum area but the point what i'm trying to add here prabhu when we are taking a flat we are not much considered much we will not consider much about the foundation or we are we won't pay much attention towards how strong the foundation the flat is so that is the reason why i'm taking a lot of people won't pay much attention to that but foundation is very much important so similarly the for the spiritual life also the foundation for spiritual life prabhu the association prabhu association is very very important association of the devotees association with the scriptures is very important and when you read the scriptures alone it is very difficult to understand if you are not understanding we should be inquisitive enough to know what exactly this this uh, meaning of this shloka is bhagavad gita prabhu without the mercy of uh, devotees and krishna if you alone read it you will not understand prabhu. that is the, you, you will not find any book in this world any book in this world where it is a open secret without the gurus and krishna's mercy you will not understand despite krishna says that it is raja vidya I mean, uh, guya vidya it is a secret secret knowledge this is secret knowledge even despite being book open people will not understand unless a devotee's intervention is there devotee or krishna's intervention is there that's how there are you might have seen a lot of people saying in bhagavad gita only 30 40 times sadhya no, 30 40 times in the bhagavad gita but when he is having that attitude that means he is not uh, in uh, right track bro. i personally have seen <laughs> by the way there are a lot of uh, prabhuji sir who say like this ah they, you know bhagavad gita 30 to 40 times sadhya nandi I mean, Bhagavad Gita session is not like that. 30 to 40 times, Chadwa and Dinazo. Bhagavad Gita is not like that. With this attitude, no one will understand. Ah, <laughs> no, bro, if, you are, if you are really have studied, that information to, should transform, transform you. Information, 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 no transformation. What is the use? If you are not applying the knowledge, what is the use? Kairam, what is the characteristics of a gulab jamun? What are the characteristics of a gulab jamun? Mask, niche karke bolo. <laughs> How, if someone asks you, what is gulab jamun? For example, a foreigner comes towards you and asks, what is gulab jamun? How will you explain him? Soft, yes. Brown color circular shape and <laughs> and sweet yes and that sweet also not direct sweet small what a thoda tempt karne ka use kaise bolna you should tell him such a way that he should immediately eat the gulab jamun <laughs> like that you should you should say so similarly when you only describe what is gulab jamun and if you are not what is the practical application of uh, gulab jamun only when you eat you will understand that right so only having information if you are not able to apply in your real life what is the use of that knowledge that's what the point is okay you need to understand understand that aspect okay now we're going to next slide that is uh, what to achieve in this life Goal to achieve in this material life by us, according to Lord Krishna is. Lord Krishna himself is saying, what is the goal to achieve in material life is, whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, O son of Kunti, that is Arjuna, that state he will attain without fail. He himself, Krishna himself is promising, what state, what state uh, a person leaves a body, thinking, one Mataji, I think Shruti Mataji asked in our Vyanga, right? Prabhuji, I wanted to fly. Can I fly? <laughs> she asked, right? Yes, Mataji, you, you desire it. Uh, now it, in this body, flying might be difficult. You desire it very strongly while leaving the body also. Krishna, I could not fly. I wanted to fly in, intensely. I could not fly. You desire it. That desire only, you try to leave the body. Sure shot. 
one pigeon or one eagle nest <laughs> you will be born <laughs> So that's what Krishna is saying. So whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, O son of Kunti, that state he will attain without fail. That's what he is giving. And you know, Prabhuji, that the practical example for this, I think I have not shared that video, right? I mean, I, I don't mean to, my, our Shiksha Guru's father, our Shiksha Guru's father, Nam Kesha Prabhu is there. Uh, Nam Kesha Prabhu, he is bedridden. I already told you, there are two holes, one hole here, one hole in the throat. And I recently visited where in, uh, I could uh, meet him. He, was, he has recorded it, uh, recorded well enough now. I think he is saying Hare Krishna and he is uh, d- going in a wheelchair right now. Luckily, he is uh, got, gotten out of danger. But you know, when he was in an extreme state also, uh, he was, I, I already told you, you know, that state is important. Materialistically, it might not be visible to us, but that consciousness should be like that. And when, how that consciousness would be developed when you are associating with that kind of people, with that, that, that kind of association. When uh, the association of devotees, you will understand what is that consciousness. consciousness. And when you, even you can ask, Prabhuji, I'm, you, are, you are telling consciousness, consciousness, Krishna consciousness, how it is, how, how we need to practically apply. Now, tell me, I'll, I will give me, let me give an example. When we recently married, uh, myself and Prashanti, we got married in uh, 2004. And uh, 2004 we got married and uh, for next one year we, we went to lot of restaurants, we went to lot of beaches, we went to lot of uh, other uh, tourist places. We have been visiting left and right, left and right we have been visiting. After one year Bhavika got, got and uh, she was born in uh, 2000, uh, almost 2006, 2005, 2006 she, she was born and after Bhavika has come then we were thinking. We are going to rest it. It will be difficult to manage her. So we we restricted our number of rest, restaurants. We will go to the tourist spot. We are thinking twice. I think there, in that uh, Uti, uh, it is very cold. Now in this cold, if we take Bhavika, it will be difficult to manage. So rather than being enjoyment consciousness, we have become Bhavika consciousness. Right? So for one, one, next one or two or three years, we became Bhavika consciousness and after two to three years, slowly she also started coming to restaurants, she also started coming to us, uh, to this tourist places and now we have visited a lot of places like that. And uh, we, we went to UK as well, London also, we, 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 we went and we spent time with, when Bhavika was around two to three years, we were there in London. And after three to four years, again Dhru has come, Dhru has come, then again we, again we restricted. Even at least we were whatever the places we used, we used to visit when Bhavika was there, we have even restricted the, some more. So, Dhruv is there, so it's very, it will be very difficult. There that is hot. And if you are going to village, we should not go to village. Because in village, there are a lot of mosquitoes are there. And it will be very difficult to uh, have Dhruv there. So we will not go. So we were, we were restricting ourselves. So we have become Dhruv consciousness. So we need to understand Prabhu, we need to have our lifestyle arranged in that way that we should be Krishna consciousness in whatever the activity we are doing. I, especially I like Vihanga community as such, I, I don't know, somehow I get a spiritual feeling when I can enter into, immediately the, from the gate 4 when I enter, I'll, I feel being adjacent to temple, it feels very nice, very very nice actually. You know, I mean, uh, uh, as we progress in our life, we should become Krishna, we should bring it, bring himself in us. And that bringing him in us happens when we chant. How many of your, you here in this assembly are chanting at least one rounds? At least uh, anyone chanting 16 rounds? No, right? Yeah. Please, Prabhu, uh, try to understand the importance of chanting. Because, no, Prabhu, more than the sessions and all, Krishna gives the remembrance and the knowledge from within. So, when you chant sincerely, not like, um, it will go like, only. You should clearly <laughs> tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. As just before the session, we have gone through the uh, uh, Hare Hare Krishna Mahamantra, uh, which was uh, mantra recited by Srila Prabhupada. We have run through that. Right? How clearly he was, syllable will be syllable. We have to 100% dedicate that time for Krishna only. Krishna only. So with that thing, when you are trying to chant, no, you will be... You will be, you'll be getting the knowledge from within, Prabhu. You will be able to feel the bless, bliss within. However old, however body you will be, that Krishna will be there. You will be able to feel that Krishna is with us. 
I mean, I have requested, I think, aliens, uh, Himanshu Prabhu has not come. There is a family, I, I used to quote in Vihanga, right? Like, in aliens, uh, uh, one family is there, Himanshu Prabhu, unfortunately, today is his father's death anniversary, so that is the reason why he could not come. That is the family what I was referring to. Himanshu Prabhu, his uh, good wife and his kid, they wake up at 3.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, they do, uh, after f f finishing the morning ablutions, they sit and do, all three of them, they sit and do 16 rounds of chanting, including the kid who is some, uh, in 6th or 7th class. These three. I wanted to, I wanted him to take a session. He was hesitating, but I wanted to force him. <laughs> he will take a session. Because he is able to feel the bliss when we are chanting. And when you associate with that people, no, automatically, Why is it Chudam Pada, Krishna Chudam. You will try to, try to, Take preliminary steps. And you should associate with the people who have experienced that. Why are they? What, what, what are they getting? Every day they are getting up at 3.30 and doing 16 rounds of chanting. Why they are doing it? Without having any motivation. Can I, I mean, in, in a material calculation, which is very... Only mad people will, will do like that, right? <laughs> getting 3.30 and waking up small kid, 6th <laughs> class kid, and ensuring she is also chanting 16 rounds. Is, is it not a silly thing? It's not a mad thing as per our material standards. But please do kindly believe that chanting really helps. And once you chant, no, if everyone ch is chanting 16 rounds, uh, actually when we take up services in uh, Krishna consciousness, only when we are chanting and taking up service, you will be more Krishna consciousness. Practically, you know, uh, uh, there are a lot of God brothers and God sisters in our community who take sessions. We, we personally visit colleges. I personally went to JNT Kukatpalli uh, some time back, giving a power of habit session to the first year students. Oh, only why are we targeting only first year students? Any idea? Only we are targeting first year students. Why are we targeting first year students? Any guesses? Huh? It is easily, easily can adopt. So first year, why are we targeting is till intermediate, till intermediate, they will be under the supervision of parents under the supervision of parents and after intermediate first year is the stage where where kids can get into good association easily in fact bad association easily and good association very uh, difficult that is the stage I, mean, I have seen a lot of intelligent people after coming to first year they get into a lot of bad habits like the drinking smoking i personally have seen Prabhu. they might have been toppers in the intermediate but after coming to first year especially the people who have come from other cities and staying in guntur because i, I was my education complete everything happened in guntur only but a lot of people come came from other cities and uh, uh, taken by staying in hostel they got into bad association they, they might be good in studies but they got habituated to bad habits like drinking smoking drugs and all i have personally seen so you know we, we target only first year students power of habits i mean there are around 200 students were there it was a good session so like the lot of Prabhuji's, we we lot of services we take it we go to bits bilani we go to cbit when I, mean, I could not go to cbit because uh saturday sunday I, I was busy with sessions here but I think since the sessions are ending today, I might take a couple of uh, sessions there too. But we know, we know, we, uh, we we get these opportunities to do service, or uh, we got we we get we we get the service opportunity only for the devotees who are chanting minimum 16 rounds. Without doing 16 rounds, uh, generally we are not encouraging people to go and take up service because that consciousness itself is entirely different, Prabhu. We materially, when we think, no, when we are not doing, what is the taking this session? If you are, if I am not doing 16 rounds of chanting, what is the problem? No. That conscious really matters. When we are doing 16 rounds of chanting, you know, the message what we wanted to pass on will go perfectly. So, what are the services take up? Uh, they they are all 16 rounders because our acharyas in the discipline of succession, like Srila Prabhupada has mentioned that minimum you have to do 16 rounds. It's minimum, it's not exactly, it is a minimum 16 rounds you have to do every day. That what is the... Chanting? Yeah? Chant? chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Probably Prabhuji, uh, Lakshmi Mataji can share, already I have taken one session in uh, Aliens, telling the importance of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And how each and every syllable, Hare, Krishna and Rama, what does it mean and what is the significance we have and all, there is a session. Lakshmi Mataji, please share it to Prabhuji. Because that is a one, and a half, one to one and a half hour session where we have given the importance of Mahamantra. This is, this is one mantra. 
like that if you are doing it 108 times that is one round that is one round of chanting like that if you are we have to do 16 rounds of chanting it will be taking taking approximately one and a half to two hours every day one and a half to two hours every day so only the devotees who do this chanting are eligible for taking up services outer uh, outside services okay so uh, if we need to uh, increase our sadhana when we are convinced with our spirituality we should in- increase uh, increase and improve our sadhana we should make a conscious effort to increase improve our sadhana okay so that's what krishna was saying so similarly the same thing therefore arjuna you should always think of me in the form of krishna and at the same time carry out your prescribed duty of fighting with your activities dedicated to me and your mind and intelligence fixed on me you will attain me without any doubt he who meditates on me as a supreme personality of godhead his mind constantly engaged in remembering me undeviated from the path he o parda is sure to reach me he himself is promising promising to do our promises might break <laughs> our promises there is no guarantee <laughs> but krishna is promising krishna is promising promising so kindly take seriously prabhu and you know prabhu slowly we need to take we need to be krishna consciousness chinna pareti prabhu what is the current fixed deposit percentage any idea fixed deposit what what is the oh, battery okay uh, प्रभु जी अंदर होगा ये अंदर इस तरह कोने में होगा व्हाट इज द करंट फिक्स्ड डिपॉजिट परसेंटेज 6.5 7% 7% 6 6% ओके 5 टू 6% 6% आई थिंक इट वाज 7% इन वन ऑफ द बैंक्स नॉट नॉट दिस प्रभु अंदर वाइट वाला बड़ा वाला होना चाहिए देखिए हां सो से अज्यूम इट इज 7% 7% फिक्स्ड डिपॉजिट इज देयर राइट फिक्स्ड डिपॉजिट परसेंटेज इज देयर नाउ अबाउट दिस Seven days of a week, total 168 hours. What is the seven percent? Is seven percent of 168 hours? Can I say approximately 13 to 14 hours, right? So whatever the bank is providing the fixed deposit percentage, we are not able to allot or give time, even that much percentage to Krishna. Seven percentage fixed deposit percentage also we are not giving it to Krishna. and being in india born in india one minute over our sunil uh, guru sandeep to yes sir Thank you, Prabhu. lose on that. Sorry, sorry, Prabhu. Prabhu, So, we need to understand Prabhu, that the fixed deposit 7%. Krishna has given seven days a week. Among the 168 hours of a week, we are not able to give even the fixed deposit percentage what bank is giving. Are we able to allot 12 to 13 hours a week for Krishna? Are we really allotting? We need to have some spiritual commitments for it. Being in the last session of the uh, SSR, we should have some spiritual commitments. Some kind of austerity is required. Surely some kind of austerity is required for it. And without having austerity, I am not asking uh, austerity means go to Himalayas and uh, stand on the big rock and sit there and uh, do tapasya. No, I am not asking you to be on fire and stay there like Vishwamitra <laughs> does. I am not asking that. So, uh, if you are really wanted to be serious in spiritual life, we should have some spiritual commitments for sure. Now, I think I, I will almost give one month time to think seriously. And you know, there are a lot of services coming up. Probably. There are a lot of services. If you if you are really wanted to be part of it, we can in, in, involve everyone. Involve everyone. 
बिकॉज प्रभु वेन वी आर इन सर्विस दट कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस डेवलप्स प्रभु बिकॉज वॉट आर द गचपोली सत्संग वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट वी आर हैविंग ए फैमिलीज ऑफ फिक्सड फैमिलीज फिक्सड फैमिलीज ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी फैमिलीज वी हैव इन अवर गचपोली सत्संग नॉट नॉट दिस करेंट एलियंस इन विहंगा ग्रुप the separate group or uh, families with whom we are associated for almost 4 to 5 years 4 to 5 years and i know we being in association and when we take up service and be part of a service that uh, krishna consciousness is really you will shoot up it is compared it is compared when we are in service when we are in service you have seen rocket launching right rocket launching the top when when it is launched the top part of a rocket it it goes in such a speed that it will it will avoid the pull of gravitation also it will it will uh, simply um, go away but later part of rocket slowly it will come down it will be affect, affected by the gravitational pull but the top part would not be affected so like that when we are serious about uh, spirituality and uh, when we are uh, committed with our spiritual commitments or we are uh, following the spiritual commitments what we see it our progress in krishna consciousness will be fast prabhu ji sir mata ji kindly understand that remembering lord at the last moment is not easy and surely we need to have our sadhana as i told how many of you have visited wonderla here wonderla wonderla is she saying no you didn't visit your, your dad has not taken you no, he said he has visited <laughs> okay so wonderla You also want to know you went into what to wonder. It's very strange. I think your wonderful devotees are there. They are not attracted to material wonderla and all. <laughs> uh, okay. So wonderla you might have seen, right? There is a uh, big uh, what is that? What is that? No, no. Roller coaster. Roller roller coaster. And even uh, not only roller coaster, there is one more like this. What is that? No, no. Huh? No, no, no. One thing is that it goes like Jula, big Jula would be there. It will be going almost one hundred degrees. Huh? Columbus, yes, yes, Columbus. And especially in Wonderla Columbus, there is a the speed is very much. I see in other Columbus where the speed is relatively less, but in Wonderla that, huh? Huh? That particular Wonderla, uh, that Columbus is very fast. And in that Columbus, you know, uh, when you row go like that, weak-hearted people should not go. He caught it. People, Ky- Kairam also not went, Prabhu. Have you, Prabhu? No. Stay here. I'm not. Uh, kids. Uh, no, I think uh, nice kids. You are gone, right? Okay. <laughs> nice kids that they are not asking to they take you to Wonderla. <laughs> uh, the point what I was trying to say was Wonderla. You know, a uh, lot of people generally they hesitate to go since it's a very fearsome experience for some of them. Basically, हम तो बचपन से बंदर थे. <laughs> going all these uh, activities so myself and bavika used to go even my my younger one doesn't like he is he doesn't like heights so we we roam around so if a person like dhru who doesn't like heights and and if they make a mandatory syllabus in each class that they have to surely clear this columbus act for 2 to 5 minutes continuously for 5 minutes he has to stay in columbus continuously for 5 minutes that is a mandatory syllabus given in the books then what would that kind of kids do hmm ha ah, we have to start with small no first bhaiya ye pehle dhru dhru jaise bande to pehle gaali denge ye school kya kya vidya sikhana hai ye ye columbus kya rakha hai karke wo gaali dega pehle but gaali dege ultimately he has to first now think ab isme kya karna hai first he is छोटा सा झूला लेने का स्मॉल स्विंग ही हैज टू टेक एंड ट्राई टू फर्स्ट गो स्लोली स्लोली एंड वन डे हो गया मैक्सिमम कितना भी हो गया होगा लाइक दैट इट्स अ डे लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लली इन फोर्टी फाइव डेज और फिफ्टी डेज ही माइट प्रैक्टिस एंड कम फॉर दैट थिंग इट्स एल दैट मच प्रैक्टिस इज नीडेड नाउ टू रिमेंबर लॉर्ड टू रिमेंबर लॉर्ड एट द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ अवर लाइफ विदाउट हैविंग अ प्रैक्टिस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर करेक्शन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर we need to understand that so ultimate goal of life is at the last moment when we are leaving the breath we should remember krishna but is it easy some people say ah you know prabhu when when i am leaving the body ah krishna thap <laughs> you you can't cheat 
you always you already know krishna is the cheater of cheaters he is the ultimate supreme cheater of cheaters if you wanted to cheat krishna he will cheat you and you will not know that you are you are, you are, you are already being cheated also <laughs> so be careful so prabhu it's a sadhana if you are not having a spiritual commitments spiritual commitments in our life to progress in spiritual life it will be very difficult try to understand that and and if you are really wanted to be part of services and whatever the talents you have we can leverage in the uh, service of krishna okay now shrimad bhagavatam talks about the highest dharma also savai pumsam paro dharma yato bhaktir adokshate ahituki apratihata yayatma supradhi suprasidate so that's what he says even the supreme occupation for all humanity is that by which men can attain to a loving devotion service uh, a loving devotion service unto the transcendental lord such devotional service must be unmotivated and un- un- uninterrupted to completely satisfy the senses even he says primary duty should be that one later secondary duty can be a father's duty mother's duty husband duty wife duty and manager duty your job duty all are secondary but the primary duty is towards the lord that's what in shrimad bhagavatam also is mentioned but how do we get there but how do we get there we need to take small steps similar to the example of columbus we also need to take small steps in spirituality like st- start doing chanting one round one round is done two round two round is done four rounds four rounds eight rounds prabhu ji there are live live examples prabhu live examples who are working in office in a big roles like ceo md director and all and they are doing 16 rounds tannulu tannulu kondi examples unnai mon daggara మనం కోరుకోవట్లేదు అలాంటి ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ మనం చూడాలనుకోవట్లేదు కానీ నిజంగా చూడాలనుకుంటే కృష్ణ చూపిస్తాడు కూడా దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ దేర్ మెటీరియల్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీస్ ప్రాపర్లీ అండ్ ఆల్సో బ్యాలెన్సింగ్ దేర్ స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ టూ సో వీ నీ టు టేక్ స్మాలర్ స్టెప్స్ నౌ సెటింగ్ ద ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఈవెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ద స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ సమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ ట్రబుల్ అస్ వాట్ ఆర్ దే ఈజ్ ఇట్ పాసిబుల్ ఫర్ ఎనీ వన్ అస్ టు ఎనీ వన్ అస్ గో బ్యాక్ టు గాడ్ రియల్లీ how many of you has have, have this question is it paul prabhu ji you are t- telling when you are telling it is appearing very logical prabhu but is it really possible can we go back home back to god is that question there <laughs> how many of you have the how is that question is it possible for anyone us anyone of us go back to god really really for alta prabhu huh in this lifetime yes in this lifetime you will go for sure right so i have started classes and in my opinion he has the potential he has the potential definitely very subconscious uh, no no mother ji actually you know uh, it is a starting point mother ji and each and every see mother ji we need to understand krishna have been so much merciful that he has delivered demons mother ji putana putana who has come to kill him he has delivered in the way, in that life itself after killing killing putana directly he has, she has not taken any birth again by the way ha ah, and she is she is playing a mother role there demon like putana she had she, she didn't have next life after killing her she was directly to goloka demon like her she was uh, delivered what about us we are at least trying to is it not a hope giving the statement is it not a hope giving statement but krishna even understand being in kaliyuga what kind of uh, you know what kind of uh, uh, overalling or what kind of uh, anardas we are going through krishna knows it but still if you are choosing krishna the problem is you want krishna Uh, you want krishna not uh, 100% but you wanted him to prioritize us is it really good deal especially being born in krishna uh, most of the indians think uh, spirituality okay but i wanted also to i wanted to have a contact with material uh, contact also i will balance both of them no i am ajay devgan i am ajay devgan one foot in one motorcycle other foot in other motorcycle probably i will go to movies and i will go to pubs and uh, this thing and i will also chant also no prabhu what is the problem will you allow prabhu ji madhavi 
will you allow your kid who is already getting first or second rank in the class uh, I, I wanted to smoke I will drink and I am also getting first and second rank in the class right what is the problem will you will you encourage your kids that uh, kid is getting first rank and second rank but he is into drugs will you allow it is something like that only bro. it is something like that only <laughs> So, is it possible for any one of us to go back to God really? Yes, it is possible. And their heart and mind, they are given. But once you do chanting sincerely, those things would be coming together. You will be getting more convinced internally rather than externally me pushing. Me or any other devotees pushing. They will try to give answers or references to the scriptures that it is possible. But it is who which has to start the journey internally first. Next, I don't think I am ready for the complete surrender. I think that is the uh, question what we have, right? I don't think I am re really ready for the complete surrender. What do you feel? Why you think that you are not ready for the complete surrender? Brain is not allowing. Mind is not allowing. Desires. Desires. Yeah. Material, attachment. hmm. Material attachments. But it, uh, again, it is our own problem. No, no. This problem is not created by Krishna. It is created by our own mind. I think I have taken an example. One, uh, one Prabhuji was saying, Your, I have a home loan. So much load is there. Home loan jada hai. Uh, I, I don't know what to do and all. Both tension ho gaya hai. Karke koi bol raha tha. Yaar, itna tension kyo lo tha? You, you sell that off and clear the loan. You sell that off. You don't have any roti kapada makan. Kuch, kuch problem nahi hai na. Why it is you are having a problem? So then he shifted the job. And he has taken more pressure in the environment. He was working in a more pressured environment and somehow he cleared the uh, EMI and uh, that EMI and uh, that home loan was cleared. And again after meeting his friend after some time, he was saying that he has taken another flat also. It is a pro problems are not created by Krishna, Prabhuji and Matajis. We are not prioritizing Krishna. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> we are not prioritizing Krishna. Now, we, the, the fortunate thing is we are, know, we are knowing the problem. As Shruti Mataji mentioned, we know the problem that we have desires. But are the, are the, re, the desires really required? I am not saying that uh, Prabhuji and Mataji do no jobs chhodo. Bas aaj se bhut Krishna naam ka jab karo. Aisa nahi. We should do our responsibilities. But we need to balance our priorities or desires. I don't think I am ready for complete surrender. And complete surrender, you need to think at, some, at least if not now Prabhuji and Mataji, at some point in your life, you need to seriously think about surrender. Surrender to the Guru and the disciplinic succession. Yes, Prabhu. Complete surrender. complete surrender. Complete surrender means your body, mind, soul is uh, completely engaged in Krishna's service. Morning lecha na put ninchi. Uday naal morning lecha ka 4.30 ki mangal arti, 5.30 ki tulsi arti, 6 o'clock ki uh, guru arti. And after that, Srimad Bhagavatam class meet every time again. Class attend every time again. A class, two days into kaipe ka, two days into nici, madhyam lunch prasadam varku. You are engaged in service of either book distribution or deity worship or uh, some other service taken up for Krishna. And after that, lunch prasadam, then complete 24 hours of of your time, you are only thinking about Krishna or working about with working for Krishna and uh, uh, associating with devotees or associating with scriptures. That is the scenario. And there are live examples like that, like that. Complete surrender. Our, you are, if I am talking very theoretically, I can take example of my own Shiksha Guru, Leelan Prabhu. He, he is, Saturday, Sunday, he is busy in VSK Vaishnava Seva, Kanju Goshala. Goshala, he is busy. Parallel, he is doing job almost 8 to 9 hours every day in, uh, in uh, Lorhan IT. Lorhan IT, he is a, uh, a finance head there. He is doing a job 8 to 9 hours daily and uh, weekends, he is having uh, Sunday early morning, he is having a session in Sankata Harana Haruman Temple, SSR. Evening, again evening, uh, yeah, tomorrow evening we are having a Sri Ramanami session, morning that session, but, uh, afternoon he is going to Goshala and everything. Goshala, why? Goshala, Krishna likes uh, Namo Brahmanaya Devaya, Go Brahmana Hitaicha. Whoever is serving comes indirectly serving Krishna. So he is always engaged in Krishna conscious services. So that's what complete surrender means when you are surrendered to Guru, these are all are the activities which are expected. Now, for a, for, a, for, for a person who is coming right now, it is not expected to do 24 hours dedicated. But we need to take smaller steps towards that. At some point of your, uh, in your life, you need to be that complete surrender. 
but what is the age ideally as per scriptures as per scriptures 25 to 45 onwards you need to think about you need to think about starting in the last session i told 25 to 45 you need to okay now i need to slowly get off from this from 45 to 55 you need to transition everything and get into complete krishna consciousness mode and from 55 onwards you have to completely dedicate yourself to krishna consciousness 24 bar 7 55 after 55 and materialistic person we have given the comparison Uh, expand even from 15 to 25 is in expansion mode 25 to 45 is in expansion mode 45 to 50 also tellapur lo villapur kona villa konali ane dantlo unnam even with, I, it's not a, just for the sake of joke or rhythmic thing i'm saying prabhu i've seen my my own community lot of people lot of prabhu ji's who are uh, who are into the old days say 55 60 or 65 they discuss these items తెల్లాపూర్ లో విల్లా అంటే పెరిగింది ఉంటుంది కదా కొనొచ్చా బాబాడు ఆస్ట్రేలియాలో ఉన్నాడండి వాడు కొంత కొంత ఫండ్ చేస్తా ఉన్నాడు నేను ఇది అమ్మేసి అది చేసి కలిసి కలిసి కొందాం అనుకుంటున్నాం అవే నా డిస్కషన్ చేయాల్సింది మనం ఆ ఏజ్ లో అండ్ ఐ హావ్ సీన్ ఎఫ్ ఐ థింక్ కోటెడ్ యాంపుల్ టైమ్స్ ది హియర్ వన్ కపుల్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఇస్ దేర్ 70 టు 80 ఇయర్స్ ఐ థింక్ 80 ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ 80 ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ మోర్ అండ్ ఆల్ ది 3 కిడ్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఆస్ట్రేలియా యూకే యుఎస్ అండ్ దట్ ప్రభుజి హీ ఫాలన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద గ్రిల్ హీ డైడ్ and for doing the last rites their kids were not there due to corona at that age they they need the shelter of kids prabhu they should be there ideally with the kids i mean i should not blame the kids when that's the that's what the consciousness parents are bringing up also they are giving the kids should be a manchi topper raavali manchi rank raavali manchi baaga dabbu sampadichali dabbu sampadiste ne kada mana society lo na koduku london elladu sampadichadu sankar gutu gochu kada prabhu సోషల్ మీడియా ప్రభు ఎవరి కోసం ప్రభు ముందు ముందు మీరు మమ్మల్ని మనల్ని మనం ఉద్ధరించుకున్నాం ముందుగా సొసైటీని తర్వాత ఉద్ధరిద్దాం ముందు మనల్ని మనం ఉద్ధరించుకోవాలి కదా దట్స్ వాట్ ఏమో ముందు మన గోచి మనం చెప్పుకున్నాం వేరే వాళ్ళ గోచి చెక్కాలి మన గోచి చెప్పుకుంటే వేరే వాళ్ళ గోచి చెక్కాలని ఏమనుకుంటుంది యు ఆర్ అది చేయటం వల్ల మీకు ప్రాబ్లము మీ వల్ల మీతో ఉన్న వాళ్ళు కూడా ప్రాబ్లమే I mean, actually, nothing, that's what the problem is, almost most of the families, that's what the social pressure, my uh, children, actually, you know, there are, if, I, sincerely, sometimes I feel, if really the parents have a good intention, that my kid should settle, and he should be, in, he should become a good devotee, and serve the society, to bring everyone into Krishna consciousness, he, with that consciousness, if they are bringing up the kids, they might be in good position also, in materially also, but actually, they don't have that intention, they have intention that ah na koduku manchiga idavali ah ka manchiga ide idene kada mla kuturno mp kuturno cheskunte naaku na 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 peru baaga perugutadi there is negative intention prabhu actually correct intention unte material ni kuda krishna satisfy chestaru kuda adi lok nobody thinks about it okay yeah i don't think for a com- i'm ready for a complete surrender but we need to think prabhu at one stage or the other we need to think of complete surrender okay now i am too materially conditioned i think i need more time this, this is the most common statement prabhu ji rastham nen chala materially chala attached ayi unnaru ee ippudu shanti lakshmi mata ji samman sanjay mata ji can take the kids probably you can ensure you are able to engage them no? okay so you know uh, i am too materially conditioned i think i need more time that's what people say and especially uh, the, the parents who are having small kids or elderly kids they, they say this dialogue i think kids are just no settling prabhu ji this journey never ends <laughs> i i take example of my own, my own mom actually she is a illiterate she is a just fourth or fifth class uh, she studied and uh, my dad uh, she used to he used to say my my dad is uh, you know uh, materially well qualified he is a he has recently done phd also he has com- completed he is a doctorate he did a doctorate in criminal psychology he is a dsp by the way retired dsp so in 1975 when he got married he he was a very uh, educationally very intelligent uh, can- candidate my dad and uh, my he was very interested to educate my mom also so he started please read study i will sponsor you don't worry you read like that he used to force my mom but my mom said ah see see seeru gadu ippude kadupuna paddadu kada okka saari nu kadupulo nunchi baidiki raangalle nen chadu start chestanu my name is seeru you know my name my complete name is seenivas maheshwar so in village people call me seenaya 
that's the sinaya they call me my college and uh, office they call me mahesh so uh, my mom told my dad okka sari seenu vaadu bayitiki raangalle inga nenu chinchestha aarestha ani maa amma cheppedi but uh, after i came out inga vaadu okka sari edabillodu ayaka nenu start chestanu anedi so inga edabillodu ayaka maa chelli kadupuna padadi inga okka sari madhavi bayitiki raangalle inga nenu chinchestha aarestha anedi inga madhavi kuda edabillo it has been going on till now and even till today my dad in pedaval shift pattukostane chaduve ani antu untadu but luckily in the progression of 78 to 2022 the only progress what she could make was in the uh, in the span of 44 years luckily she was she was able to sign finally sign with epan that signing also she will take 5 minutes time to sign k rajamani after finishing we will you have to beat one coco coco net <laughs> so prabhu thinking i am too materially conditioned i think i need more time there is no time prabhu spirituality this time is the time this responsibility will go on go on there is never a time if you are getting entangled it will be going on even at the last minute also it will be not there so kindly understand this statement do you have any questions i am too materially conditioned i think i need more time but we need to prioritize for it's not a big uh, now mo- most of the misconceptions in india what we have is spirituality is meant for only old people old people that is the misconception what we have am i right but believe me prabhu getting inclination in the old age it is very difficult మొక్కై వంగనది మానై వొంగున అనేది తెలుగులో సామెత ఉంది ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ టు ఇంబై దట్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ అట్ ద ఫ్యాగ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్ ద లైఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ నౌ వెన్ కెన్ ఐ ఎవర్ బీ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ యాజ్ పర్ స్పిక్చర్ సో యూ కెన్ ఎవర్ బీ విన్ వెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మేక్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు కాన్షియస్లీ మేక్ స్టెప్స్ టువర్డ్స్ స్పిరిచువాలిటీ i don't think i will be able to strike a balance in my situation this is a common statement this is too much for me to handle i will stop and think again some people come to satsang they will continuously come for one uh, six months seven months one year you might have seen right from this and other very first session how many people were there 70 people 70 to 80 people have come for the very first session in vihanga in vihanga 70 to 80 people have come but uh, uh, we already know the experience uh, what we have we already know in the first session 70 to 80 means Uh, by the last session surely they will they will not be but at least krishna has given an opportunity for at least people to get a taste of it because you know in this kali yuga getting attracted towards spirituality it's very difficult bro it's very difficult <laughs> with the kind of maya <laughs> maya playing her tricks it's very difficult <laughs> what a wonderful movie here what a what a what a wonderful pub lot of lot of distractions are there after this course you will have answers to how to begin my spiritual life how to make progress in my current situation how to strike a balance with 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 and handle everything where can i get perfect and constant guidance what is the simplest and the surest way to ready the goal how to perfect my life and achieve the highest goal prabhu ji main main housewife hu lekin mujhe bahut difficult hai ye spiritual life ye balance karna now i will take an example of one of our god sisters in our own gachipuri satsang community i think some of you might be knowing suma mata ji have you heard of her suma suma mata ji she worked in microsoft for almost 20 years and recently she shifted to salesforce currently she is working in salesforce and she is having three kids two twins and twins and one one elder daughter she recently moved to us the kid got moved to us and the two twins are studying in ninth or tenth class right now and she is managing the office she is managing her spiritual life and she is managing the household activities and she is teaching her kids uh, kartal and mrudan and she is good at singing also music classes she takes as well can you imagine someone can do like that huh? so there is no inspiration required from outside we are our own gachpuri satsang people have devotees have enough inspiration to be taken from and if you are really interested i can arrange a session from her as well suma mata ji actually she is uh, she stays in uh, transit apartments transit community you know when these are you know when we quote this example these are life examples no one can say uh, without doing job 
शांति कंप्लेन्स दैट यू नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट हाउ टू मैनेज शी नॉट डूइंग जॉब इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज बट हाउ कम शी इज मैनेजिंग these are my real life examples for i'm not quoting some other uh, impossible examples and if you really wanted uh, in fact uh, if we today evening after the session we might go to uh, 13th and floor where the sri ram mami session was going with subara prabhu and we will visit our lordships uh, lord rama and lordships there and we will have prasadam in 13th and uh, 10th flat itself subara prabhu ji says probably she might come there also i will show so suma mata ji there so yeah so bhagavad gita theory to practical lord krishna's message is not merely a theory how many of you believe that lord krishna's message is a theory anyone who believes lord krishna's message is theory since you are there in my house you are saying it is theory what is <laughs> sometimes or no prabhu no don't, don't say that if you say that it is theory tell, tell it is theory but uh, no it is not a theory prabhu it is really that knowledge what krishna has shared it is applicable 5000 years back it is applicable now and it will be applicable time immemorial immemorial to come that we need to understand the supreme personality of god had said my dear arjuna because you are never envious of me i shall impart you this most confidential knowledge and and realization knowing which you shall be relieved of the miseries and middle existence we have already spoken about why krishna has chosen arjuna why has he not chosen bhishma uh, bhishma or why he has not chosen vedavyas why he has chosen arjuna because arjuna is a grahastha like us like all of us arjuna is asking questions on our behalf that we need to understand nanam means knowledge and vignanam means realization from the knowledge the same thing what i take an example with kairo you know that gulab jamun description but until unless you have known the knowledge but how you practically will apply by eating the gulab jamun similarly when we are taking the knowledge we need to apply the knowledge as well if we are not applying the knowledge what is the use of that knowledge probably there are lot of devotees who might give charity for so krishna i did lot of charity here internally they might think i i did this charity i did this much annadana i did this much this thing that thing lot of charity i did krishna i did lot of thing but does krishna needs your charity or does krishna need you if you are not doing charity will will the world not serve world not survive are we is someone in this assembly thinking that if i if i am not doing charity how come that people might leave is someone thinking like that krishna wants you prabhu not to your charity that is the priority of course it is not nothing against your charity we should do give charity if you are having uh, any resource any knowledge if you are having money knowledge or any any talent If you are a good painter, if you are a good programmer, there are a lot of services available in our society. Whatever talent you have, there are a lot of services available. If you come forward, okay. So, what is the use of the knowledge that cannot be or will not be applied? We we know that we are sick. We got the medicine, but we don't take it. What is the use? We know that we are sick. First of all, we know that we are we are having a problem staying in this material world. Then what to do? The medicine is given, and if you are not taking a medicine, who is going to suffer? Who is going to suffer? Doctor, there is no one. Doctor, there is a doctor. There is no one. Problem is there. Okay, this problem is. This is my body. This is mind. Ah, mind. Which are the things? Thanks, sir. Mind is going to be our problem. What is the problem? That's what is being talked about. buy is the best ticket but he does not board what is the use aeroplane ticket teeskunta ticket teeskunta aeroplane kolkata kellali ane aeroplane ticket teeskunta ane prayanam cheyanandi evaru pokka why you have to take a flight ticket and why you why why you are to keep to keep not to go so why lord krishna chose arjuna to tell bhagavad gita we, we have seen we have already spoken about arjuna was a family man with children wife brothers mother and responsibilities his decision was going to affect the lives of 64 crore humans his decision krishna has invested everything whatever this mahabharata and all this story is meant for uh, masses actually but the ultimate actually for this moment only krishna has invested everything on arjuna and at this juncture arjuna is giving hand i will not do work <laughs> how much krishna would have wanted <laughs> 
So his decision was going to affect the lives of 64 crore humans. That is the reason why in the middle of the war, he has spoken the ultimate truth, absolute knowledge, such that with, he is doing the war with a perfect consciousness rather than the flickering consciousness. Okay, Krishna told, okay, Mahesh, gar, Mahesh ke gar hai, to ye jo kuch bhi bola hai, wohi sunne ka nahi to kya ho jayega malum nahi. Aisa nahi hai na. So we, we should do any act with a proper consciousness. Arjuna was Chhatriya and his business, his business was to save the innocent from the cruel. This was the biggest decision he, has, he had to make and so he took 90 minutes out to discuss. Naveen Prabhu, you might have presented uh, something for your client, right? What is the recent presentation you did? Uh, demo on what? For a? For a product. For a product, you might have you might have done a presentation. How much time you have taken to do the presentation? For preparing for present for preparing the presentation and how to communicate or present it in front of the client. Client, how much time you would have taken to actually present it? Two to three hours you have prepared. Two to three hours you have prepared for a presentation for a client. But Krishna speaking the absolute knowledge for the entire humanity, he has not prepared anything. He is the God. That's why automatically everything comes. Comes. He, he doesn't need any preparation. So he had taken 90 minutes of time to discuss. And for that 90 minutes, Pura Samay Rudgaya. It was halt. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Samay Rukna. I am not even understand that feeling, Prabhu. <laughs> Sami, <laughs> statue. <laughs> Okay. Arjuna understood the purpose of life before fixing his bow on the target, selecting his goal. True spirituality teaches how to live dynamically and purposefully. True spirituality teaches how to live dynamically and purposefully. This is a very subtle statement where the, the same thing can be taken wrong. Work is worship. Paniye daivam. But that is a wrong understanding as per the script, scriptures. We should be, uh, spirituality te teaches how to live dynamically and purposefully as well. Dynamically when I say, ah, Prabhuji, I am comfortable do making prasadam, I will do prapash prasadam only. So you are getting attached to the process, not to the result. Krishna told, we should not get attached to the result as well as the process also. Prabhuji, I like prasadam, so I will do pr prasadam only. That is also attachment, you are getting attached to the process. So that is why we should involve in multiple activities where, where we are not talented also. Where we are not talented also. I mean, I, it's not that I am boasting about myself. I, I never had uh, Telugu subject in my life. Being a Kendra Vijayala student myself, and uh, I, I, I've been studying in Rajasthan, Jodhpur. And there we are only having English and India subjects. And we did, never had a Telugu subject. And even till today, I never had a Telugu subject. My Shiksha Guru requested me to take the SSR sessions in Telugu. Prabhuji, what is this? <laughs> I don't have Telugu subject. So somehow I have managed. Whatever, I've been seeing Telugu, lot of Telugu movies, right? So, so let, let us see, let us try. So we need to uh, explore the things which are not our safe zone. You know, you know. in fact, some that uh, you will lie, love that also. I mean, something unknown things when you are doing, you will really love also. I don't know how many of, how many of you have experienced it. Kuch hamko malum nahi hai, lekin when we are doing new things, will you not get attracted or will you not uh, getting thrilled? Have you seen that feeling? Uh, when it is failure, you will not enjoy. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a learning curve. Especially in spirituality, you know, there is a, uh, nothing like a failure. Really, Mother, one, one small statement, you know, materially, it, this might be, I know, in the interest of time, materially, when you are too much, in the material world, if you are too much happy also, it is bad. Because when you are too much happy, your good karma is burning. <laughs> it is bad. And in materially, even if you are too much sad also is bad. Because you can't go, uh, uh, take the pain of losing someone near or someone uh, something valuable has been lost. So it will be a lot of pain. Even materially happy also is bad. Materially ba uh, bad also, so sad also is bad. But in spirituality, in spirituality, happiness is also good. And in spirituality, bad, uh, being sad also is good. Are you understanding the proportion, proportion here? How is being sad? Ah, how is being sad? Good. Now, I will take an example. Lord Rama and Sita, they were separated for almost a year. They were separated because Ravana has kidnapped. 
అండ్ దూ లెట్ మీ టేక్ మిడిల్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఏ లవర్ లవ్స్ అండ్ వన్ వన్స్ ఎ లవర్ ఈస్ టూ మచ్ డిస్టెంట్ హీ విల్ బీ ఫీలింగ్ ఏ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ సాడ్ బట్ ఇన్ స్పిరిచువాలిటీ నో వెన్ దే ఆర్ ఫార్ అవే దో దే ఆర్ వెరీ సాడ్ అండ్ యూ నో వెన్ యూ వీ వెన్ వెన్ ఇన్ సెపరేషన్ ద లవ్ ఈస్ మోర్ స్పిరిచువల్లీ వెన్ ద సెపరేషన్ ఈస్ దేర్ ద లవ్ ఈస్ మోర్ వెన్ కంపేర్ టు వెన్ యూ ఆర్ టుగెదర్ స్పిరిచువల్ ఆర్ యూ గెటింగ్ ఇట్ వాట్ ఐమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సే ఇన్ స్పిరిచువాలిటీ వెన్ ద లవ్ ఈస్ ఇంక్రీజ్ మెనీ ఫోల్డ్స్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ స్పిరిచువల్లీ అవే ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ పార్ట్నర్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ద స్పిరిచువల్లీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద సర్వీస్ యూ ఆర్ టేకింగ్ అప్ నో మతజీ యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఫర్ ద ప్లెజర్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ నాట్ ఫర్ యువర్ ప్లెజర్ so and krishna see the effort bhavagrahi janardana bhavagrahi janardana even if you are trying to prepare a prasadam and while preparing a prasadam uh, by mistake instead of kheer mein chini dalne ka some, someone has put namak one namak dal ke prepare karke uh, krishna ke samne rakh diya bhog uh, but it was not intentional thing right krishna will understand that krishna will understand that even even in that service you have given your best best effort even if you are failing it's not you are done for the for pleasing the lord that krishna understands mother understands believe me and uh, i personally experienced this you know i personally experienced this because i never expected in some situation i, I can't comment them but uh, i never expected i would be in this situation but somehow krishna placed me in that situation despite luckily uh, in the material standards also i didn't fail luckily <laughs> but somehow krishna helped me and uh, you know but we should not feel sad also when you are doing a spiritual service or when we are trying to please the lord don't feel that are it will get, if i get fail what will happen krishna will understand me. nothing is a failure when you are doing a spiritual activity to please the lord nothing nothing only your effort is more important believe me. and if you wanted an example we can discuss ample examples okay bhagavad gita theory to practical misconception about spirituality what is that it is only for old people it is only for ladies it is only for ladies huh? and uh, like that it is only for sentimental sentimentalists jo rotru hote unhi ke liye spirituality bana hai aisa nahi hai that's not the way okay it is not only for men men for uh, sentimentally they are this is meant for uh, mentally strong people it is for less intelligent people that is the this conception exploits our money how many of you feel that spirituality exploits the money as i mentioned krishna doesn't want your charity or money krishna wants you krishna wants you and when you are really sir trying to serve him krishna krishna will give prabhuji sir mataji krishna will give lakshmi ma lakshmi who is serving he, his lotus feet she is she is giving uh, material op- opulences to non devotees non devotees themselves and when we are serving to krishna will she not take care of us so exploit our money have to leave everything so spirituality means you have to leave everything bhai behan wife kids sabhi ko chhod ke chale jao forest nahi that's that's the misconception what we have next no happiness spirituality means depression mein jaane ka ek band ek kone mein reh ke bas so soch soch ke depression mein jaane ka send that's what the impression people have next no good activity do they won't do any good activity silently so kahi baithe rehte hain bas duniya chalta rehta hai baithe rehte hain kuch kaam karte hi nahi hai ha no enjoyment spirituality no enjoyment prabhu ji if we if someone is having spirituality no enjoyment then you have to come with us for yatra then you have to come with us for yatra our stomachs pained by laughing and we have enjoying by the way okay so it's not like that misconception of misconception uh, misconceptions about spirituality whatever is mentioned here are utterly wrong but what is it out of fashion out of fashion uh, you know it's how it can be out of fashion now you see if you are wearing dhoti kurta how cool it will be <laughs> no I, I, it's not uh, I mean uh, it has become a rare thing these days but out of so many what is fashion mother ji someone is wearing something different oh wow wow what a wonderful dress they they say right i mean something different some uh, uh, i don't want to quote an example you know but the thing is stockholm i was there in stockholm one mata ji in, in our uh, uh, community she was uh, wearing a worn worn jeans 
ఇది న్యూ ఫ్యాషన్ రైట్ చిరిగిపోయిన ప్యాంట్ ప్యాంట్లు అండి అది ఫ్యాషన్ అనమాట అంటే పెద్దవాళ్ళకి కొంత కొత్తగా ఉంటుంది కానీ చిరిగిపోయింట్లో ప్యాంట్ వేసి ప్యాంట్ వేసుకోవడం కొత్త ఫ్యాషన్ ఉంటాయి ఈ మధ్య ఇది నమ్ముతారా మీరు మీ కాలంలో బెల్ బెల్ బాటంలు ఇవన్నీ బాగా ఫ్యాషన్ ఉండేవి కానీ ఈ మధ్య చిరిగిపోయిన జీన్స్ ప్యాంట్ వేసుకోవడం అనేది ఫ్యాషన్ సో సి ఫర్ ఫారినర్స్ ఇట్ మైట్ బి ఓకే బట్ వెన్ ఇండియన్స్ దే దే ట్రై టు కాపీ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఇండియన్స్ ఇట్ రియల్లీ లుక్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఆర్డ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఆర్డ్ అండ్ వన్ మాతాజీ వాజ్ వేరింగ్ ఏ ఇండియన్ ఇండియన్ మాతాజీ వాజ్ వేరింగ్ ఏ టోర్న్ జీన్స్ టోర్న్ జీన్స్ అండ్ వీ ఆర్ సిట్టింగ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ వైల్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ ఏ బస్ అలాంగ్ విత్ మీ వన్ ప్రభుజీ వాజ్ సిట్టింగ్ అండ్ హీ వాజ్ సీయింగ్ హీ వాజ్ సీయింగ్ దెన్ షీ షీ వాజ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు హైడ్ యాజ్ ఇఫ్ వీ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ సంథింగ్ అండ్ షీ వాజ్ హైడ్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఇట్ వాజ్ రియలీ దట్స్ వాట్ వన్ ఇండియన్స్ ట్రై టు ఇమిటేట్ నో ఇట్ లుక్స్ వెరీ సిల్లీ వెరీ బికాస్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ హ్యాపెన్స్ టు ఎనీ ఫారినర్ దే విల్ బి వెరీ క్యాజువల్ but when the indians try to copy the things it won't uh, happen you know and you know wearing this is this is our uh, uh, dress actually original dress this is the oldest fashion even in uh, villages today they wear dhoti kurta only i don't know i mean uh, in the coming days for the kids it might be a rare commodity to see people wearing dhotis for the likes of kairav and uh, uh, what the name <laughs> prakshi okay so it might be a rare thing I mean, uh, as a parents we should at least wear uh, these dresses uh, especially in the important festivals and we should do that we should uh, try to inculcate uh, that promotion we need to do because by seeing us only kids ko force karne ka nahi by seeing parents only kids will learn 100% lik dijiye and uh, if, if i am not sounding very uh, non feministic let me say this uh, mainly fathers if they try to inculcate the culture some if some change has to be brought in the family if father do it automatically kids will follow not mother the impact will be more when father does it i have personally experienced it for me it, it doesn't mean that mother is less but believe me when father does it kids automatically will follow okay because answers were not given to open questions on religion today no one understand anything about god no one I mean have you seen in the, in the pravachans whatever happen outside no no one is allowed to question you know only it's, it's a one side batting have you noticed it's a one side batting if I, someone asks a question question they will be feel offended okay so we, open question should be asked we should give a, should have a liberty to question enduku enduku ila chestunnaru enduku ila why why is it happening like that why as per shastra why we are uh, have keeping mango leaves out road outside the uh, door and all we should question lot of questions should be asked and kids we should uh, encourage kids to ask the questions as well serving hands are better than praying hands because no one knows how to whom to pray and how to pray that is a uh, idhi uh, that is this is the thing what we propagate you know serving hands are better than praying hands as if they are what is it? praying lips so prayers have a lot of power prabhuji sir maharaj prayers have a lot of power you have already covered this material material knowledge is is not a must to exist spiritual knowledge is a must to exit this endless cycle of birth and death so material knowledge might improve your bank balance but spiritual knowledge is the king of the knowledge to break this cycle of birth and death okay true is truth is spiritual knowledge is the king of all knowledge he is raja vidya that's what even krishna says krishna says in bhagavad gita spirituality is a raja vidya the vidya which is followed by kings importance of getting getting spiritual knowledge bhagavad gita bhagavad gita answer this these basic questions which are very important for any human irrespective of any religion these are the important questions to be asked how many of them are really interested in knowing the answers and as we have been reiterating if not if you are not understanding this answers from for these questions from me try to understand these questions from the people or the devotees who are there in disciplinic succession only guru in sampradaya only try to understand the questions you should be inquisitive prabhu when we are going to yatras or a, or a pilgrimages no do you know can, can you tell me what add values value to the holy dams is it the place or the people who are living there what do you think which adds value more is it the value of a place or the value of the people who are living there is my understa- is my question clear yes yes what is the answer place place okay people sadhus 
have a uh, place anyhow it has a value but more value is the sadhus or the devotees who are staying there manake entante mana edana holy places kelthe it's just a obligation you know obliga ellam ellam darshana darshana ayinda darshana ayindi prasadam dinna prasadam dinna tirupati lodu dorikinda dorikindi it's just a formality but have you ever tried to enquire with the devotees there who have been staying there all along in that place to know the past times of that place have you ever inquired mana eppudu tirupati kelina appudu evartena adagadaniki prayatinchamo asalu mana mana okane generally tirupati illam ante hotel room book ayindi దర్శనానికి టికెట్ రెడీగా ఉంది వెళ్ళామా దర్శనం చేసుకున్నామా తిరుపతి లాంటి తీసుకున్నామా ఆ రోజు ఒక రోజు టైం స్పెండ్ చేసామా వచ్చేసాము బట్ హ్యావ్ వీ ఎవర్ మేడ్ అన్ అటెంప్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ టైం వెన్ వీ గో టు ధామ్స్ ట్రై టు అసోసియేట్ విత్ ద పూజార్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఆర్ ద డివోట్ ఈస్ దేర్ అండ్ ట్రై టు ఎంక్వైర్ ద పాస్ట్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ దట్ యాడ్ దట్ యాడ్స్ మోర్ వాల్యూ అండ్ మోర్ కన్విన్స్ మోర్ కన్విన్సింగ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ కన్విన్సెస్ యూ మోర్ వెన్ వీ హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద డివోటీస్ ప్రభుజీ యాంబియన్స్ విల్ చేంజ్ ప్రభు ఆబ్వియస్లీ యాంబియన్స్ విల్ చేంజ్ మీన్ ఎస్ అండ్ మీరు ఐ డోంట్ నో ఐ థింక్ ద పీపుల్ ద డివోటీస్ హు ఆర్ దేర్ హియర్ యు మెడ్ హవ్ విజిటెడ్ తిరుపతి ఎవ్రీ వన్ మెడ్ హవ్ విజిటెడ్ తిరుపతి ఆటోమేటికలీ వెన్ వీ గో టు తిరుపతి దేర్ యూ విల్ బీ ఎబుల్ టు ఫీల్ దట్ స్పిరిచువల్ బ్లీస్ అరౌండ్ హ్యావ్ యూ సీన్ దట్ హ్యావ్ యూ నోటీస్ దట్ we actually we won't even getting another thoughts as well we will be i don't know somehow continuously in the background uh, lots names holy names place around and uh, we will be you know some kind of a bliss we will be able to observe very thinking very thinking rather so like there is scope undu scope undu yes yes that's right bro that's right yeah yeah the ambience completely changes bro ambience completely changes you know so now the shrimad bhagavatam also it is mentioned what is the highest truth the highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of welfare of all so what is the highest truth highest truth atom bomb waste chaala mundi chalipotharu is it a highest truth why why it is not a highest truth it is a truth right atom bomb waste when 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 atom bomb is thrown lot of people get killed right right Can you have any idea how many, go, how many people got killed in Hiroshima attack approximately? Do you know what is Hiroshima attack? Uh, any idea? What about you, Prakshi? Any idea? No idea? Okay. Lot of people got killed. But it is also truth, no? When an atom bomb fell and lot of people got killed. It is also absolute truth, right? Is it truth or not? Is it not absolute truth? It is not absolute truth. Why? yeah so prabhuji in the scriptures it is shown that for for some something to be called as a absolute truth also there are three parameters what are these three parameters it is said here it is a reality highest truth is a reality yes it is a reality next it is distinguished from illusion it is clearly distinguished from the illusion and third parameter is for the welfare of all that is called the highest truth is the atom bomb it did whatever it did is it for the welfare of all no so it disqualifies to be called as a absolute or the highest truth we need to understand that, that that's what the greatness of scriptures it clearly mentions that for each and everything there is a clear cut definition given we need to understand that okay now bhagavad gita helps one to understand good versus bad permanent versus temporary freedom versus real freedom bhagavad gita explains kala karma prakriti jeeva and ishvara all of these things we have seen it in the earlier sessions okay next why do we need a guru in spiritual life already we have seen that that also we have also covered this in our previous sessions guru is needed what is the problem with the pratyaksha praman pratyaksha praman means whatever i see that we believe that is the modern youth tendency yo yo tendency you know that's what the kids say whatever i whatever i see that only i believe that's what people say so whatever i see i believe but the problem what what is the problem with the direct senses the problem is this pratyaksha praman uh, direct sense perception there is a, there is a problem of uh, you know our senses have a cheating propensity what are this you see senses are limited senses are uh, subjected to illusion senses have tendency to make mistakes and we have a cheating propensity i think there is no further examples needed here everyone accepts that right our senses are not perfect everyone accepts right 
now anumana praman okay that thing has happened so that is the reason why i can imply this paada nunchi peru vastundi kabatti pappu nunchi sambar vastundi ila by seeing one thing with our own knowledge we try to re- infer something which is called anumana praman knowledge through inferences huh? we do a uh, lot of experiments on frog frog we do lot of experiments after doing experimentations on frog okay if we do experiment on frog this happen so we, if we do the same experiment on humans this also this will happen that is the wrong thing so even this anumana praman is also wrong why it is wrong problems with the anumana praman is we interpret knowledge based on our mode of consciousness there might be lot of bhagavad gita uh, books written by lot of people including mahatma gandhi including mahatma gandhi but those are not the prescribed books because those books are given as per their mode as per their mode a person writing in satguna might be having his own realizations and the same uh, satguna person uh, he might be having a different experiences and he might be inferring something else about bhagavad gita so we should not so we interpret knowledge based on our mode of consciousness Hmm. Ah. Ah. There is a common inference Prabhu, but, there, but you know, see, <coughs> candle to see light of chindi, candle to see light of chindi, but if you look at the candle, you can see the light of chindi, you can see the light of chindi, you can see it, so we have a poor fund of knowledge, we don't know if there is a candle, but where is the light of chindi? ఎక్కడి నుంచి లైట్ వచ్చింది ఇది చూస్తుంటే ఈ లైట్ ఇంత ఎల్లోయిష్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ఇది క్యాండిల్ నుంచి వచ్చి ఉండాలి లేకపోతే ఇది ఇలా ఉంది కాబట్టి కానీ చూడాలి సంధి ఎవరు చూడాల కానీ మనకే మనం సొంత సొంత అభిప్రాయాలు చెప్తూ ఉంటాం కొన్నిసార్లు ఈవెన్ వెన్ వెన్ వీ టాక్ వెరీ నెగిటివ్లీ సమ్టైమ్స్ యూనో వీ టాక్ డబల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ పీపుల్ అరే ఎవరికైనా ఒక ఒక అమ్మాయి ఎవరైనా ఎవరు ఒక అమ్మాయి ఎవరైనా సూసైడ్ చేసుకుంది అనుకోండి మనకు వాస్తవాలు తెలియవు ఎందుకు సూసైడ్ చేసుకుందో కానీ ఆ సూసైడ్ చేసుకుంది కాబట్టి దీనివల్ల చేసుకుంది ఇలా చేసుకుని ఉండొచ్చు తనకు అలా జరిగిందంట కదా అలా చేసుకుంది మనకు వాస్తవాలు తెలియదు కానీ మనం ఇన్ఫర్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం బట్ ఇది రైట్ వితౌట్ నోయింగ్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ హౌ వీ కెన్ ఇన్ఫర్ సమ్థింగ్ దట్స్ వాట్ ఈ బీన్ టాక్ అబౌట్ వీ ఇంటర్ప్రిట్ నాలెడ్జ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ అవర్ మోడ్ మన గుణం గుణం పట్ల మనం చేస్తాం కానీ అది కరెక్ట్ కాదు అనేది next we have understand only that much as per our kosha already i have discussed about annamaya kosha gnanamaya kosha and all so depend we might be belonging to some kosha with our understanding in that kosha only we will be able to tell kani ultimate kosha lo unna vaalla knowledge manaku teledu ga so mana infer chesindi tappu anedi konchadu na kani shabda praman learning from authority is the ultimate authority from where we need to learn the knowledge that's what is recommended shabda praman learning from authority benefits with shabda praman is to save time and energy to save time and energy. i have already given an example now a mother gives a delivery to a kid and uh, uh, to know who is the father of the kid who is the father of the kid uh, scientifically there are a lot of ways right we can do uh, testing on all the people and see which particular perfect dna match is there and then only we can conquer that uh, this person is this kid is born to that particular person but it is going to take a long time but what is the easy method mother 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 you can mother can say that he is your father right that is the easy method so learning so to, to save in time and energy because in in kaliyuga in kaliyuga we are having in kaliyuga body we are hardly having 70 80 or 85 years of time and in this time you will you i will do research and find out it is a very uh, foolish uh, understanding or foolish foolish decision to take so to save in uh, t- time and energy we need to believe in shabda praman shabda praman you will get the knowledge from vedas or scriptures as it is as it is recommended by god himself even god himself says, says you know uh, evam parampara prapto he says about uh, following the disciplinic success, succession material knowledge can be learned from bottom to top but spiritual knowledge flows from top, top to bottom mercy of guru and parampara is compulsory material knowledge starts from lkg ukg first class second class third class fourth class fifth class and all but spiritual knowledge flows from top to bottom our uh, acharya ultimate guru is 
Jagat Guru is Krishna. From Krishna, in our discipline in succession, it came to Brahma. From Brahma, it came to Narada. From Narada, Veda Vyasa. From Veda Vyasa, it has flown. It has flown in this uh, uh, disciplinic succession and uh, it has come to Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada and all the Azharas in disciplinic succession. They have seen the ultimate truth. Already they did the necessary R&D and provided the results to us. What is the problem in accepting it? Okay, that's what is being communicated. Qualifications of a guru who can impart a spiritual knowledge. Already it is being discussed. Guru must be from a bona fide parampara. These are the lot, a lot of examples quoted here, which you can go through later in the interest of time. Already we have seen this as well. Sampradaya. Samyat pradayate. Iti sampradaya. Completely handing over. So externally all plug points look the same. You have to use the one which has connection to parampara. It is Now it is our free will to choose what parampara we have to choose. Because if you are choosing another fake parampara, there is a possibility you can fall down. There are a lot of NGOs or fake paramparas in our society. I don't want to name them. We don't do, do, do. Our intention is not to blame anyone here. But uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, apasampradas which have come and got into scams. And uh, even the funny part is, even after getting into scams and going to jail and coming out of jail, also people are following them. Now, do we need to blame that cheater or do we need to blame the people who are following him? People. Now, it is up to us whom we are choosing. How do we know that if the plug point is connected to the is connected to the power plant or not? Simply put your finger and try. It's a very risky thing, right? <laughs> Have you ever has anyone tried? <laughs> no, uh, tried, but you will some at some point in time you will explain. Uh, actually, you know what silly thing? When when I was in second or third class, I don't know, I got a one one naughty experience. People say uh, electricity shock uh, gives give shock and all. I wanted to see because finger was not fitting in, so I, I have taken a compass. I have taken a compass and I tried to fit in. Immediately, <laughs> given a shock. So that day, I understood the taste of shock. What exactly a shock appears? Has anyone tasted? Sir, I keep getting the taste of shock. So for the last two three months, uh. I keep getting the taste of shock. Uh. Some no, no, taste of shock by keeping hand in there or because. Uh, uh, tongue. Because sometimes, you know, when you are sitting in uh, some static uh, items also, you get shock. It's not only plug point, you get it. Sometimes, you know, when, when a sari is there, when silk sari is there, when you are sitting, kr 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 some sound would be coming also. Huh? Spark is also coming. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we, we should be careful. So, simply put finger and try. Very risky. Now, make your, make you check. Use your intelligence and use the, what is it known as? Uh, tester. Tester, we have to use our intelligence. See, at that time, I didn't get an intelligence that there is, a, there is some equipment called tester, which gives the thing. I didn't get, I didn't have that. But somehow, you know, some hole is there. You know, kids, you know, boys, always boys. <laughs> so, hole is there. So, let, let me do, let me try to put something there. So, see the commitment and purity of the followers. So, uh, today morning, when Prabhuji was asking, when I, when I was uh, taking a session, how will we know the purity of a person? Purity of a person, Prabhu, you have to experience it. As, for example, Srila Prabhupada, so many of you might have heard. Can we say that he is a pure devotee? Srila Prabhupada? How? How? You, you, you just know, said yes. How? Very contributions he made. Yes, the contributions what he made and the followers what he had. And the purity of the followers, what he had. Always seeing the... Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, they say, right, in Telugu, one samsa is there. By seeing only one... Uh, when the rice is getting cooked, by seeing only one rice, uh, ka ek piece, ko check karke bata sakte hai ki pura cook ho gaya nahi karke bolte. Right? Similarly, when we see the purity of the his followers, we know that uh, how commitment, uh, how committed they are for the mission. For propagating the knowledge of the God. Okay? Next. Ask your Guru to explain his unbroken parampara till Lord Krishna. If you are really curious, ask. I wanted to know the complete disciplinic succession till Krishna. Um, I am there. I am not yet initiated. I am, uh, I am aspiring for initiation. And I am aspiring his initiation from His, uh, his Holiness uh, uh, Radhana Swami Maharaj. And who, who is he got initiation from? He got initiation from Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada. Like that, if you see the chain, you try to inquire. Try to inquire. But if someone asks in Apasampradaya, if someone asks, 
can you can you please tell me no uh, what is which sampradaya belong to no prabhu it is not sampradaya even our own self we can realize people will say like that immediately if we say that you come out of it prabhu you come out of it you are simply fooling ourselves okay next no connection no mercy please don't fool yourself with the help of another fool pretending to be a guru no connection no mercy without having a connection there is no mercy you know i will do self study that can happen in middle middle knowledge uh, we, uh, you know one day me pura padke night out karke me exam likunga you can do it but in spirituality you can't do it without connection no mercy at all we should be connected prabhu and prabhu don't think when you are getting connected guru will exploit you that is the that is the nature of a apasampradaya to exploit in the outside market but the real guru in sampradaya they wanted the good for entire humanity they wanted to enter good for entire humanity don't worry they will not ask for your you know your astulu properties and all they will never ask they they will suggest you what is good for you you know there is they, in our community we are having one devotee family where both prabhu ji and mata ji both are working she is an entrepreneur by the way she is an initiated devotee sucharita devi sucharita devi dasi and prabhu ji is udayananda 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 das he is working in microsoft both are both are working and they are ready to they are already worked in my recently joined microsoft and they are initiated devotees from uh, his, his holiness uh, uh, rom uh, romapad swami maharaj and they are ready to do for anything for their uh, spiritual master and if he says that you quit the job he are they are ready to quit the job also but of course no 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 one says that, that that but that's the commitment of a disciple towards his guru but guru he never exploits his disciples he will engage you in krishna conscious service okay is is going to be a part of brahma madha gaudi sampradaya i don't want to dwell here already we have mentioned that so chaitanya mahaprabhu has taken all the uh, two qualities from each sampradaya and uh, had this achintya beda beda tatva since we already seen this and we belong to this sampradaya only okay next is qualifications of guru already we have also seen this guru presents the knowledge from scriptures as it is guru does not create his own philosophy and conclusion a perfect guru simply repeats the repeats the message of his guru take message from the guru seriously check if your mind is check if your mind is in another new form of entertainment you know prabhu you notice even shila prabhupada also knowledge whatever he shares he always uh, yeah, yeah he always quotes my, my guru maharaj said you observe uh, in the disciplinary succession nobody monopolizes the knowledge that this knowledge i i have given no always he gives the credit to his guru maharaj even shila prabhupada gives credit to his guru maharaj okay like that you know mind is enjoying senses are enjoying intellect is enjoying devotees intervention in our life is divine intervention when devotees are entering in our life don't feel that uh, hindi mein ek dialogue hai na ittefaq ittefaq se ho gaya hai no it is a divine intervention krishna has sent lovely devotees as guests to serve that's what it is not a ittefaq it is a krishna's plan it is a krishna's plan okay if you don't take the messages seriously then lord krishna will also remove us from association no prabhu ji these sessions are very boring i don't know somehow somehow this negative intention is there no there is no need of separate effort to be taken krishna will automatically ensure that you are away that's what the speciality of krishna if you are not serious about spirituality krishna will ensure that he will make you busy in maya only and he will take away from satsang very simple it might be uh, very difficult to explain materially but krishna will ensure that it is easy to move away because unnecessarily when you are not easy there is a possibility that you might commit offenses to devotee krishna will accept offense towards him but he will not accept offenses to the devotees prabhu he is ready to accept towards him but when he is offending if someone is offending his devotees he will never accept that's the reason why he is not further committing any offenses towards towards the devotees he will keep him away from the devotees okay rethink why you are attending the satsangs we need to introspect prabhu why we are attending the satsangs okay uh, saturday time sunday time i am available there is no other specific job okay let's see kuch so good good karma aa jayega let's go and attend no prabhu no you should have spiritual commitments we should have we should seriously think why are we attending the satsangs 
we should really seriously think don't think it is another material materialistic program even substance also you know it can become a materialistic program how ask you will attend the satsang ah ee cheera konnarandi chaala baagundi ekkada konnaru chaala chakkaga chaala chakkaga undi ee prasadam baagunde chaala tasty undi em confidence add chesaru ma pillalni padtam chaala baagundi satsang we are came here to discuss about krishna and his teachings and thing even the satsang also can become entertainment spiritual entertainment spiritual your spirituality can be made entertain prabhu one prabhu ji can come uh, prabhu ji meeku telusu nen shloka idi cheptha adi cheptha wonderful four to five shlokas anargalanga cheptar aina cheppagale va meer em chepparandi shlokas super ga chepparandi em vaakpati ma em idi em chandassu em idi ani cheptha ayipa that's a spiritual entertainment prabhu we can make spirituality as a entertainment too and we might be in a brahma ha nenu satsang attend avutunanu spirituality ga attend avutunanu bhagavad gita na baa telusu naluga ite shlokalu nenu anarkalanga cheppagalgaru i know that spirituality also can become an entertainment understand that don't take satsang spirituality or devotees for granted for granted please information information no transformation no use if the information is provided and you are convinced and if you are not convinced then you go to another devotee and try to understand those important questions in the life from other guru or from other devotee who is there in sampradaya mahesh prabhu meer cheppindi naaku ardham kaledu that's okay mahesh prabhu meer cheppindi naaku ardham kaledu that's okay go but understand that these are the important questions in life to understand to get a clarity only in sampradaya guru should be the go swami go mean go swami means go swami means swami, go swami means senses who has the senses in his control who has conquered the senses that is he is called go swami no one can claim himself as a guru unless he has conquered his senses guru's only business is to engage his disciples in satisfying the senses of the lord rishikesha rishikena sevanam he will, he will engage the devotees or disciples in the service of lords in satisfying the senses of the lord okay qualifications of guru guru is a pure devotee himself guru is a as pure as god guru explains the essence and also the details from scriptures guru is a acharya one who walks the talk walks the talk qualifications of a disciple simply having a perfect guru is not sufficient there are lot of disciples who have a spiritual guru and after getting initiated they got fallen also they got fallen also so guru can be a perfect seed of a bhakti can be the best but if disciples heart is not fertile to get the knowledge then there is no use there are two things right when a plant has to grow seed has to be best and again the land should be fertile enough i personally seen being uh, every two months in a year when in my childhood i have spent my days in village i have seen so many plants where i could not not understand why the some plants are not growing why some plants are growing then uh, got a clarity that there is a possibility that seed might have been wrong there might be a possibility the land might not be fertile and for making a land fertile we are using artificial things like fertilizers and all but we need to understand in the bhakti process the seed might be best but if the heart is not fertile the bhakti will not sprout so we need to make our land fertile and if you are having that faith we can make that land fertile and to gain faith you need to do read scriptures you need to do chanting you need to associate with devotees you try to mingle up with devotees who have experienced this at least pray to lord krishna nenu vastunanu nenu pray chestunanu kan na kendu at least pray this you there is no need to utter outside but lopala manana manali mana tittukondi poni krishna nenu chaala try chestunna krishna kani work out avvatle krishna kendu naku aa desire naku nee naama japu మనస్ఫూర్తిగా చేయాలని కానీ చేస్తుంటే నాకు వేరే వేరే గెలుతుంది కొంత నాకు హెల్ప్ చేయవా అడగండి తప్పేం లేదు నథింగ్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ ఆస్కింగ్ కృష్ణ కృష్ణ ఐఎమ్ గెటింగ్ ఇట్ హ్యావింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ డిజైర్ టు చాంట్ యువర్ నేమ్స్ హోల్ హార్టెడ్లీ బట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు చాంట్ ప్రభు ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు చాంట్ ప్లీజ్ హెల్ప్ నాకు ఈ చెత్త ఈ చెత్త థింకింగ్లు వస్తున్నాయి ఆపు కృష్ణ ఆపిచ్చవా అడగండి తప్పేం లేదు నథింగ్ రాంగ్ బయట కంటే చూడడానికి ఇదేదో వాడు వెంకటేష్ డైలాగ్ కొట్టినాడు అన్న తినడానికి అన్నం ఇచ్చావు గీసుకోవడానికి బ్లేడ్ అడ్డం ఇచ్చావు 
గీసుకోవడానికి బ్లేడ్ ఇచ్చావు అన్నట్టు కాకుండా బయటికి చెప్పడం ఈ ఫిల్లింగ్ ఉండొచ్చు కానీ లోపల విషయం ప్రే ప్రభు ప్రే కృష్ణ ఈ విల్ కృష్ణ విల్ రియలీ హెల్ప్ ప్రభు బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మేక్ ఎఫర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ ఎండ్ కాన్షియస్లీ హోల్ హార్టెడ్లీ ఓకే సో పర తద్విధి ఈ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ డిసేబుల్ జస్ట్ ట్రై టు లర్న్ ద ట్రూత్ బై అప్రోచింగ్ ఎ స్పిరిచువల్ మాస్టర్ ఇంక్వైర్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ సబ్మిసివ్లీ అండ్ రెండర్ సర్వీస్ అన్ టు హిమ్ ద సెల్ఫ్ రియలైజ్డ్ సోల్స్ కెన్ ఇంపార్ట్ నాలెడ్జ్ అంటిల్ అన్ టు యూ బికాస్ దే హ్యావ్ సీన్ ద ట్రూత్ సో ప్రణీపాతేన హంబుల్ టు సరంబర్ సరెండర్ అండ్ పరి పరిప్రశ్నైనా ఇంక్వైర్ టు పుట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ టు లర్న్ అండ్ క్లారిఫై తప్పేం లేదు యూ నీడ్ టు ఎంక్వైర్ ప్రభు యూ నీడ్ టు ఎంక్వైర్ పీపుల్ లైక్ ఫోర్డ్ మాఫట్ లాల్ హూ ఆర్ సిఈఓస్ అండ్ ఎండీస్ ఆఫ్ కంపెనీస్ దే ఆర్ ఇనిషియేటెడ్ డివోటీస్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ సరెండర్ టు ద గురు స్పిరిచువల్ మాస్టర్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ బ్యాలెన్సింగ్ దేర్ మెటీరియల్ అండ్ స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ వీ వాట్ ఆర్ వీ వీ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ లైవ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ప్రభు అరౌండ్ అస్ ప్లీజ్ సేవయ సిన్సియర్ సర్వీస్ అండ్ ఫాలో ద ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ గురు ఓకే సో ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ వాట్ బ్రింగ్ స్పిరిచువాలిటీ spiritual transformation in one person going to all dhams go, going to all dhams will bring transformation prabhu ji every day nenu every 6 months ki tirupati veltanu prabhu nenu chaala spiritual man person ni is it right no prabhu he is mere mechanical travel to holy places make one a devotee no is the place more holy or saints who live there more holy already we discussed can i experience god by just visiting the holy places no prabhu no learning scriptures and ancient languages like sanskrit lang- language uh, because i know the language of scriptures am i saintly no there is a possibility pride might come up what is the language in which we can learn about god what is the language in which god speaks to us elephant bath is useless spirituality without bona fide knowledge and service to the guru is useless elephant you know you might have observed elephant baths for how many hours how many ever see it baths have you observed any idea kairo hathi kitna samay tak snan karta hai you don't know daddy leke nahi gaye kya chupo the next time daddy ko leke leke jane ke liye bolo aur stay there in elephant sanctuary for some time and see for how long elephant is bathing <laughs> okay so elephant bath is useless because after it baths for 2 to 3 hours immediately out of coming out of bath what does it do matte eskuntadi em labu antaga anni gantlu spend chesi matte eskoni em labu cheppandi this something simply similar to that only then it throws the mud so what is the use of all effort when we love materialistic life that's what the question you know materialistic life somewhere we need to keep a check though we will not be in a situation to come out of it completely but we need to be cautious about middle activities what we are dealing with transformation comes by full surrender in the mood of servant to the order of guru and god okay pride kills spiritual practitioners when one when one wants to wants to be cheated in pride then god sends the best cheater gurus into our lives you know when one see hear this statement once again when one one wants to be cheated in pride bah what a person you are వా మీరు ఎంత గొప్పవారండి మీ ఎంత గొప్పవారిని ఇంతవరకు మన లైఫ్లో చూడలే తెలుసా అలాంటి వాళ్ళకి అలా పొగడతలకు కూడే వాళ్ళ గురువు లాంటి వాళ్ళనే పంపిస్తారు లైఫ్లో సో పర్ఫెక్ట్ చీటర్ వుడ్ బీ సెంట్ టు దే యువర్ లైఫ్ సద్దట్ మీ ప్రైడ్ని బాగా ఆయుధ్యం పోసి దాన్ని మంటల్లో లేపి ఇచ్చేయడానికి రియల్ పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ టెంపుల్స్ టీచ్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ సెయింట్లీ పర్సన్స్ రియల్ సాధు స్పీచెస్ ఇన్ ద టెంపుల్ ఓకే లైక్ దట్ యూనో రియల్ పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ టెంపుల్స్ ఆల్రెడీ వీఆర్ సీన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టు ప్రాపగేట్ ద నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ the god in the temples now in the kaliyuga even uh, uh, houses now what are the satsangs we are conducting house is also a temple okay so well wisher non non enemical to anyone there are a lot of examples you know gurus gurus every word or act and conclusion is as per scriptures they have great qualities so why are saintly people tolerant they have the best qualities the saintly people have the best qualities and that's why they follow the scriptures and that's why they are envy they are not envious of god and not inimical to anyone that's why they are well wishers of everyone that's why they are most merciful and that's why they are tolerant that is the logic why the saintly people 
that is the that is the logic what i mentioned to take the association of saintly people to teach us dangers of materialism temples are meant to, to teach us the dangers of materialism we are what we associate with when the character of a man is not clear to you look at this his friends that's what it said so thanks to kaliyuga biggest object that spreads materialism is just one push of a button away from us ravana also comes like a sadhu first to capture the mother sita love of god from our hearts see all this material first even even in this materialistic materialistic world also how tv has come it has come through scriptures only ramayan hari kada that ha- i don't know whether you are noticed it or not in doordarshan first initial programs were these only ramayana hari kada were the program only doordarshan was there da 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 that music you remember right us zamane ka nahi kya <laughs> I I have been <laughs> probably kids it might be very new. I re- still remember my dad bringing Dianora TV, surprising me in 1985-86. He brought Dianora TV, oh, oh, door wala Dianora TV, and we used I used to used to remember that door dashan circle. You know, so yeah. But the point you know, even the materialistic things will be coming like that only. First, first Ramayana, then Hari Kada, then slowly disc. I am a disco dancer. Start. All these things have come later. Our altars are replaced with TVs, where we are spending most time. Actually, TV is the place where our entire family will be sitting together and seeing, but not in the altar. How many of you agree? Only in altar, a mother or father would be, might be uh, taking the darshan of the Lord. But TV is the place where entire family sits and they take the darshan of TV. So that's the current situation. Our altars are replaced with TVs, where where, where we spend most time. teach us how to accept and follow guru in ancient culture anyone with spiritual guru was considered uncultured guru yeah okay so guru so this is the importance of a guru prabhu we need to understand that so satsangs are real temples today satsangs is the place where we are trained in spiritual life training is needed at all levels guidance from peers and seniors within satsangs is the most essential we need to know prabhu in satsangs no we need to make friendship it's not to pinpoint others if any difficult we need to Uh, take sh- shelter or take association of a devotee where you can share your feelings unhesitatedly unhesitatedly anything anything negative also you should be able to share not in public probably you to you, you need to you need to uh, befriend or uh, uh, look for a devotee where you can share uh, your anarthas or your problems without any hesitation where you are having a trust that he will not uh, misuse your uh, uh, condition so we should have that association with the devotees Okay, satsang is a, like a spiritual hospital. How can we determine if our visit to a hospital is successful? What is the disease? We have the material body. Why and uh, where did we get the disease? The willful disobedience of the will of God. Example: original sin explained in the Bible. What is the best line of treatment? Complete surrender to the Lord. Bhagavad Gita, Dharma, Sarva Dharma and Paritajya calls for surrender, and Islam means surrender. Bible also says the same thing. Did you get the right medicine? Chanting of the holy names with the mood of servant of the servant. that is the medicine if you are coming to satsangs to find these answers then we will we will make progress otherwise even satsangs become pious entertainments pious entertainments we will be in a impression you know uh, we are doing pious activity but andar pura kachra vada that's not right temples are set up to fulfill the purpose which today satsangs are fulfilling great acharyas in the past have set up temples in four paramparas only to spread the message of the god unfortunately today temple are visited as a ritual or to take selfies in front of altar that's what the temples have been meant for today okay but now real satsangs are happening in homes only okay conclusion how can i progress i have so many materialistic condition shrira prabhupad said krishna consciousness is very simple process problem is we don't want it how many of you feel that krishna consciousness is a simple process or oh, so okay let me ask this question how many of you feel that krishna consciousness is a very tough process why mother with uh, so many responsibilities hmm. mother you are having one kid <laughs> you are having one kid i have taken an example of suma mother we will go there i don't know whether she has come or not uh, but mother ji it is it is it is, it is not tough mother and uh, i don't want to uh, drag on that but okay apart from mother ji anyone else who, who feel that krishna consciousness is a very tough process 
very very tough process you say it's the hopeless that you can get even when you uh, try and sit there yeah there's so many distractions yeah. Yeah. but despite despite uh, trying to uh, spend that time that hmm. one hour or hmm. But uh, somewhere, it's not only with you, Madhani, even devotees who chant, right, they also get distracted. They also get distracted. But uh, we should uh, not stop the process, Madhani. For example, uh, for example, uh, in your class, for, for your final exam, you might be writing a lot of unit tests before you write the actual exam. But since in one unit test you are getting less marks, will you stop it? Stop reading? No, right? You will be continue reading and try to improve and uh, we need to scale, we need to uh, have a scale with us in measuring the progress also. How we can, you need to desire Krishna that please make me focus on this. But apart from this, do you, anyone feel that Krishna consciousness is a very tough process? Mindset. That's right. Mindset, we need to, what could be done to change the mindset? Mindset, there is a problem. We need to, Prabhu, what I will say is Prabhu, everything, the solution is there with us only Prabhu. Solution is there with us only. But uh, what I feel is we are not exercising our free will. <laughs> we have to consciously not making an effort. Yes. Prabhu, you lifted hand. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prabhu ji ne correctly point out here. अपन ने अपने आप को बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेट कर लिया है कर लिया है ऑलरेडी नाउ हां बोलो किया बोलो यू आर यू आर इन मेडिटेशन राइट नाउ बट यू आर नॉट अपीयरिंग लाइक दैट ओके यू आर राइट प्रभु या एज नवीन प्रभु राइटली मेंशन यू नो द प्रोसेस इज इजी बट वी हैव कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आवर लाइव्स सो मच ओविंग टू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक सोसाइटल प्रेशर फियर प्रेशर पेरेंटल प्रेशर किड्स एक्सपेक्टेशन आवर पार्टनर एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर फुलफिलिंग आवर पार्टनर एक्सपेक्टेशन वी आर ट्राइंग टू डिजायर मोर सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देर ओके सो वी नीड टू मेक समवेयर कॉन्शियस बिकॉज आई एज आई मैंशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ईवन इफ यू गिफ्ट समथिंग वैल्यूबल टू यर पार्टनर शी विल नॉट बी पर्मनेंटली हैप्पी कैन एनी वन गैरंटी हियर यू मैड हैव गिवन यूर पार्टनर सो मेनी वैल्यूबल गिफ्ट But after giving that valuable gifts, can anyone say that she was permanently happy? Anyone? Please, someone lift hand. No, I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, we need to understand. It's an easy process, and we have complicated. And if we have complicated, now it is our responsibility to take that uh, thing. What are the A B C Ds of spiritual life? What are the A B C Ds of spiritual life? A means A. ये बोले तो ए फॉर असोसिएशन ए फॉर असोसिएशन रेगुलर असोसिएशन इन सत्संग्स इज नॉट ओनली असोसिएशन विथ इन सत्संग्स प्रभु वी हैव टू हैव ए कम्युनिटी वेयर डिवोटीज आर एबल टू शेयर वी शुड हैव दैट नो जब वो सपोर्ट रहना वो ट्रीज का एग्जांपल लिया ना वो ट्रीज का वी नीड टू हैव दैट सपोर्ट बिकॉज इन बींग इन दिस मिडल वर्ल्ड ओनली विथ असोसिएशन ओनली वी कैन बी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रभु there are lot of people where they are not you know there is a saying facebook instagram lot of followers lot of friends lot of things would be there but when there is a problem there is not even a single person to share have you experienced that yeah. you need to understand the association is very important you should choose one or two devotees with whom you can share your things unhesitantly b for books real bona fide spiritual books scriptures translated in disciplinic succession c for chanting chanting removes all the unnecessary things and cleanliness the heart in the heart of bhakti i am an non vegetarian prabhu what to do you are drinking drink you are smoking smoke you are eating non vegetarian eat but please chant our intention here is not to eradicate the bad things in you our intention is to fill you with good things because automatically when the good things are filled bad things are expected to go please chant if you are not at all chanting at least try to chant one round 
होल हार्टेड होल हार्टेड डी मीन्स डयट इंपारटेंट डयट प्रसाद तगे वी शुड नाट नेवर कांप्रमज इन प्रसाद ओके always carry for the carry the fear of maya illusion that can take us back into materialistic life and prabhu ji as i said maya is more conscious maya mainly acts with devotees only because non devotees there is no need to no need of maya to take care no already there in maya so no need no need so maya only has a special relation with devotees only she tries to cope with devotees only so be careful deal as much as needed deal only as much as needed with the materialistic people don't associate too much don't associate too much for example i get groceries i get groceries and oil related things from our uh, devotee who supplies from farm house i get my uh, my things from uh, my, our vaishnava uh, vaishnava seva kunj uh, most of the vegetables i got it from there i get the milk from there from our cows so all the dealings we are try to keep it with only um, uh, spiritually inclined people try to associate with the materialistic people as less as possible i have seen personally in my uh, when i was staying in stockholm uh, one of my so many colleagues said yaar humko bachpan se i mean college se humko uh, drinking ka habit nahi tha obligation ban gaya uh, client se mil ke mil jul ke kaam karna hai to uh, drinking smoking karna padta hai aise habits aa gaya if you are not getting into these habits how come uh, we satisfy our client obligations that is a bullshit explanation what given by one of our uh, associates from tcs But but you know you know the fact now actually client loves it client loves the individuality I have taken my client Petra Granlund to a vegetarian hotel uh, in uh, Sarona Bhavan Sarona Bhavan I taken her and she she ate whatever we like and I she requested me uh, whatever you are ordering you order for me also and she in fact liked it she she felt it is something different than us she they are really appreciate. it is something like wearing this dhoti and kurta in the current environment gives a yo yo look right so similarly and uh, the culture of having a vegetarianism and this thing they really appreciate despite they might not be from their background they might be a non vegetarian but uh, compromising our values is not good thing they really uh, that's a greatness great thing what i admire in westerners they never force or uh, do uh, uh, discriminate people with their habits actually we indians do more okay so it's not a reason to so deal as much as needed with the middle east people don't associate too much remember that the ten- national tendency in middle world is everything is designed to fall down don't make spiritual process into rituals spiritual process and ritual be clear on what we chant why we chant how we chant and when we chant okay there is a, there is a list of 10 uh, offenses 10 offenses in devotion in one of the offenses in one of the statements of offenses in devotion you we should not aspire for material benefits that is the reason i am chanting we should not chant for aspiring material benefits that is one of the offenses in devotion a man convinced against his will stands on his opinion still fall down in spiritual life starts when we become defocused we start finding faults in devotees starting aise hi hota hai kaise hota hai malum hai when we are uh, not focused ये वो डिवोटी ना यार वो कुछ लाता ही नहीं है जब भी आता है इधर खा के ही जाता है कुछ भी लाता ही नहीं है सी वॉट कैंड ऑफ ए ड्रेस शी इज वेरी वेरी बैड नो सी दैट प्रभु जी ही इज मोर एसोसिएटिंग विथ ओनली माता जी हाउ बैड दिस इज अवर्ट स्टार्ट प्रभु इन द स्पिरिचुअल सर्कल्स ऑल्सो वी शुड बी वेरी फोकस्ड डोंट फील दैट वी आर इन सत्संग्स और इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी वी आर वी आर फॉरबिडन फ्रॉम माया नो वी शुड बी वेरी फोकस वॉट इज अवर गोल what is our goal here we are not come here to pinpoint others we have wanted the association and we have to do the association also we find reasons to not meet devotees we will find reasons to not meet devotees ah ee roju pelli chupulu unnai andi raavadam kudaraledu ledandi ivara ee roju ma baabu birthday raavadam kudaraledu ee roju ame anukokunda vere chaati kaptunam andi raavadam kudaraledu i am really sorry for you See, Prabhu, I'm not saying that we should not uh, important activities. We should not do that. But we need to prioritize. Birthday is there. Why can't you uh, invite devotees and do that? I think uh, last time Mata Ji, who is that Mata Ji? That Mata Ji twins birthday. Ah, Krishna Ji Mata Ji. For their kids' birthday, they have invited devotees. 
and you know uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, prabhujis they they invite devotees for birthday celebrations we our own in, in our kc family we are having a separate whatsapp group you know uh, gg kc family wherein uh, the devotees within our community we are having any birthday is there we celebrate we chant we do dance we do kirtan we we eat prasadam we do do this thing. so even that kind that kind of a culture should be developed in each and every every community big krishna in the center not measuring exactly 10 meters from here 10 meters here 10 meters there keep krishna in center no <laughs> krishna to have the in center in our activities we find all talks repetitive that's what mind says yaar mahesh prabhu is saying baat bar bar yahi dohra rahe hain repetitive lag raha hai kya hai ye we start finding exceptions to follow anything huh? there might be some some devotees uh, you are compromising this unnecessary agar aap onion garlic ka ye phanda nahi rakhte na uh, lot of devotees would have come no we will not compromise in the quality so these are the services perform service in the mood of a servant of the servant lot of service though there are shown here prabhu um pratyek pranshi 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 what is your hobby drawing so drawing she can deploy her talent in uh, J- jagannath radhayatra might be coming soon there will be a service of uh, uh, doing paintings of lord jagannath and that will be posted in facebook so we are going to encourage jagannath radhayatra painting can be encouraged so that you can do in the lord service huh? what about uh, kia shruti mata ji what, what is your hobby what is your eating <laughs> but you don't have a hobby no you should be having a hobby for sure i have not seen a single person in this whole world not having a hobby i like to dance huh you you love what is your hobby i don't know you don't know i don't think so she knows what hobby something like i know what is a hobby huh. a hobby is like huh. in your in your main time you can do anything you want huh. so what thing you like most to do you do want to play with the best friend yeah. yes no, like you like to do swimming you like to do swimming yeah i mean me like mean when you said swimming no i got an idea actually uh, in stockholm in the temple one of the gothenburg temples uh, they have a lake wherein they they celebrated janmashtami they had a remote uh, remote uh, boat remote boat in that boat radha and krishna they have kept the deities and they have for whole night almost for 3 hours continuously slowly that boat was taken boat was taken and they celebrated uh, they indirectly radha and krishna swam across in the uh, uh, lake in that lake and they, that is when it was captured nicely so so the so basic point prabhu whatever the hobbies we have that can be deployed in krishna service these are couple of services what we have in in someone can say i am a good good pro, programmer i am a development i am a developer how i can deploy my de- deploy my development uh, work there are you can develop a portal for temples to track the incoming and outgoing uh, information of the devotees i love cricket prabhu how i can deploy i i, I am myself a cricketer i i, I cricket by play cricket lot and uh, how how i can deploy uh, my talent in krishna service any guesses amazing the kids for uh, the devotees are attending ah okay <laughs> yeah that's one thing another thing is when any cricket tournament is there because my shiksha guru answered this so when any cricket tournament is happening put a uh, krishna's banner and put some books someone get uh, yeah, over, over. Uh, someone uh, someone might get inspired and take the books and some probably as i said i don't know people can derive inspiration there is in a telugu movie one dialogue as i said uh, place ni manushini cheppe vidhananni batti whole inspiration content e maaripothundi kada we don't know how from where which point people can inspire by seeing that banner he might get inspired who knows so put the banner put some books for thing when while the cricket tournament is going on some might, some people might discuss right evadra bhai pettindi banner evadra bhai pettindi krishna dala bhai banner kya hua kya ye krishna dala hai ab wo devotee koi banda dala hai are bole do teen baat bolenge bas us bas utna hi na so like that there are unlimited service okay so this is the this finishes the science of self realization course anyone has any questions till now how we can apply scriptural knowledge in our day to day life make some spiritual commitment to make further progress we start searching for devotee association every week we have eagerness to learn scriptures detailed 
study of scriptures, Bhakti Shastri is there. Like there are a lot of scriptures are there. So what are you thinking? Session is over. Done. So SSR session, 12, 12 sessions are over. La say three loud holes for every one of us. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Okay. So what text? Next day in tea. Come on. What shall we do? Next day in tea. Andy, odd question, huh? <laughs> Next day, Andy. Hey, Jayarma, what should we do? I wanted to give a almost some three to four weeks of gap here. Sandy Bob. Huh? Yes, sir. So, what shall we do? I wanted uh, inputs from everyone. Probably some part of this. Association should continue. Continue. We can have a one or another week, not another week. Yes. What about yes. the best way to do this? As the series of these. Yes. Yes. Nice one. Yes. Nice one. And uh, how we engage our children more hmm. in terms of how that really starts. Nice one. In fact, I will find out one. Uh, I think one Mataji is conducting sessions like you know, uh, uh, Balgokulam. No, it's not only Balgokulam, but uh, bedtime stories. Yes, bedtime stories. Because one Mataji earlier, ah, uh, session is over. While well, okay, um, but uh, just another five minutes. Okay. Another five minutes. Uh, anyway, we will discuss the bedtime stories. Because a few sessions are going on, where you know uh, kids join that session and they they will be telling the stories of our Puranas to the kids and um, and give gives a spiritual spirituality taste to the kids as well in a uh, understanding way. It's not like a serious lecture, but they they will be telling the stories from the Puranas. That's one aspect. Like uh, kids, there are some sessions are there. We will try to see how we can progress. Yeah, anything else? Any any more ideas? One month gap I'm going to take and on May 17th, May 17th, I'm going to conduct one time Srimad Bhagavatam session. That session is to ensure that everyone has to get Srimad Bhagavatam in each and every home. If you are already having it, you can donate it. There are so many uh, Brahmanas and Pujaris who are not having uh, Bhagavatam set due to owing to their uh, uh, poor financial background. So like that you can donate Bhagavatam sets to them. So I request everyone to attend that session. It's not only this group. I probably myself and Sunil Prabhu and Sanjay Prabhu might think in Vyanga on how to reach in each and every house and request them to attend one session. Because it is our history. Whatever the history is being shown in our CBC ancient medieval, that is not the history. They should know the glories of the Lord. So we will do our attempt both in Vyanga and Aliens and request each and every flat to attend that session in the temple. That will, happen, that will be happening in our temple. Sri Bhakta Prahalada Varada Lakshmi Nasimha Swami temple mein wo session hoga in Vihanga. Okay? I will be planning for that. I am trying to prepare some template also. So we will be broadcasting that in the uh, community and we will see that. And please plan to ensure that you are bringing your close friends and everyone also to that session if possible. And after that session, multiple sessions would be conducted for your friends also. For, for example, Anil Prabhu has attended ses that session and he has propagated or broadcasted that mission, uh, that uh, message to his friends and relatives and they want, they have gathered some 10 to 15 people in some other society. Then I can come go, come and go there and give session again. But we need to ensure, ensure that Srimad Bhagavatam is entering each and every household. That is the target. And please, I need your support in getting this executed. Okay? Any more questions? Any other ideas? Okay, let's uh, finish then. So, I will stop uh, the session here and, uh, and go to Nasi Maharati.